four, three. Here's the theme song. I was going to rape you, but now I don't even want. I was going to rape you, but now I don't even want. I was going to rape you, but now I don't even want. I was going to It's the morning show. When they know it's not, it's just another. Hey, just it's welcome to <laughs> Damien J. Rogers Has AIDS with Jim Grindle, hero of the internet. Hi, Damien. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I got AIDS, apparently. <laughs> Queerly. That was no sort of aspersion. Um, Boy, it's been some time, huh? What a it surprise. Has been a while, huh? Even longer it's since so it was just you and me. Yeah, I think the last episode was called... <gasps> I figured it out. The last episode you and I did together was called, um, I think, uh, Jim and Damien have gay sex together. Um, was it really? I think it was. So now we <laughs> know why you, you have the AIDS. <laughs> what we know uh, now, isn't that, like, isn't that like second down on my bio? <laughs> it is. Uh, but... Let's address something very important here. Very important. Um, apparently, Luke is a terrible, terrible person um, who we've got to unfortunately remove from the... I got a Captain Kirk. Fancy. It's a Captain Kirk Mego. It's... This is the whole reason. I fucking walked in to um, the store yesterday and said i'm gonna not buy anything it was fucking walmart uh nothing ever to buy there and i say to myself the only way i'll purchase anything is if they have this it was a joke because this when i first started collecting the migos did not exist this is a recreation of the original um, first, first run when the original series was out, Mego, um, Captain Kirk. This is a toy I had as a little boy. I had the whole play set and everything. Uh, and I had Kirk, Spock, and Scotty. And, uh, they did have a few versions of Kirk that Mego released throughout the years, but none of them were a recreation of the original. And so when I first said, oh, I'm going to start collecting Migos, and I purchased this Saru and this Woody Boyd and eventually this Toxic Avenger, it was all because of this figure. And I Googled it to see if they had any recreations or anything or if I can buy the original, whatever. Well, they didn't. They only there was none, but since I last looked, they apparently finally released a recreation, and there was one sitting there in Walmart, uh, twenty bucks. Which then I looked online, and I can't find one for less than forty bucks because it came out actually in twenty twenty one. Um, so yeah, I had to I had to purchase it, but it, what a trick, huh? I, you you go somewhere saying the only thing I'll buy is this thing I know doesn't exist. And, and then there it, is. Corner, and there it is. That has been happening to me. Um, I I would like the lady to suck on big old titties and do some foursomes with sexy women on a bed of a million dollars. Because I am I'm like fucking magic lately. Let me tell you. <laughs> lately, magic your whole fucking life. I, th I, I, you know, we went out to dinner, um, and boy, was it the gayest of times. Uh, we went out with the family. Started with Green Day. Um, what the fuck is that? It's good riddance, but what's the words to it? What? Uh, like, what's the hook? Yeah, I hope you had the time of your life. Yeah. And we're all singing along like a gaggle of queers. <laughs> uh, like that family of fruitcakes and stepbrothers uh, when they're singing um, Sweet Child of Mine. And uh, time of your life is like that. If you want to get a bunch of people who are 
either drunk Gay? or oh. elderly like yourself or queers you know i mean not yeah i mean that in a positive sense if you want to get it you know get them to sing along put that on you'll have the whole the whole room everything except for uh and people outside the room people who are walking by will be singing along well it was three out of four of us were singing the youngest he didn't know the song obviously because he's only 13 and we made Wait, fun of him for being left out well these new i had to, I had to not say a word these new ones uh, <laughs> these new children of the world, they they do stupid shit. Like like, what kind of music do you like, uh, nephew? I like video game soundtrack music. Uh, I like anime scores. They listen to the they they the the things they consider music now are insane. It's like they don't understand a, a, a fucking video game score, an anime score is a commercial piece of music made to accompany a piece of visual art and it's meant to elicit very specific emotions. It's not up for interpretation. It's not art. It's not fucking music. It's a sound D designed uh, for a specific reason and designated to it that. It recalls a moment in your mind. Right. When you listen to it. It ain't fucking music, you little cunts. I would say, as a sort of side, the Doom soundtrack, like for the modern Doom games, yeah, Doom, Doom, not Doom, Doom. The yes, soundtrack Devil's Doom. Shut up, Doom shut remake. up, Damien, shut uh, up. This guy wants to do an interview with me. Like, he help me. if he wants to talk about me. Got yes. The answer is yes, Dabble Storian. You had me at Jim Grindle. <laughs> <laughs> you had me at me. Uh, go on. I'm sorry. So, Jim, tell me about your child. No, no, no. That's for Dabble Storian. <laughs> he asked for the. He got kicked out. Now I'm here alone. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, no, that's uh -oh. not for you. I'm sorry. You can't have that. You know, Mr. Stone tried. Uh, how do you reach me around? <laughs> uh, uh, well, look right there, silly goose. It tells you right there. It says Jim at Steam Stem Steam Powered Man. How to make sure fucking Luke spelt that right? Oh yeah, that's what we didn't get into. Why he's kicked out of the network? He is. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> What's he done uh, now? Egregious, <laughs> offensive, outlandish, outrageous. He put at DJR Network. It's at the DJR Network. So here we are. I bet you that leads to like another stolen fucking channel. Uh, oh, my phone number. I don't do that, you goose. I don't talk to people on the phone. I'm not a little girl. Um, nobody has my phone number. Uh, I don't even. I don't even have my phone number. Okay, one person has my phone number. Chad Zumach going on a show with that fucking. Fruit, Derek, and, and Kevin Brennan? Fuck you! <laughs> Other than that, nobody has my phone number. Uh, so if you want my phone number, reach Chad Zumach, that little jerk! Who's on a show with Derek? What the fuck? Little jerk? And, 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 what's his name? Kevin Brennan! Little jerk. Chad, you little jerk. Uh, call me. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Fucking cunt. Fucking ruining uh, everything. You're ruining everything, you stupid prick. Anyway. This thing um, of ours. This thing. I'll tell you what, though, uh, Mr. Dabble Story and Mrs. I don't want to gender ish i'm i'm not ignoring anybody i'm doing a fucking program there becky i'm trying here we have damien and i just spent like 20 minutes discussing how we have no content or nothing to discuss so we're we are we are fucking really scrambling here uh let's see so what were we talking about damien before becky rudely interrupted see she ruined the show no no I don't know. <laughs> oh, but Dabble Storian, you can uh, send me your telephone number and I will call you on a secret um, um, blocked number and uh, uh, private um, encrypted 
channel we can communicate if that if, if, if your preferred method is the telephone that's fine um so go ahead and drop me your number and i'll give you a holler um okay don't leave dumb women I was, always getting was emotional only kidding. he was only kidding uh, okay let's see um you know something v he says you won't buy a lottery ticket i assume this is to me being magic uh apparently i am magic by the way magically fucking with Lou and Kai because that's still the narrative. Um, apparently, Lucas is goofing around with them a little bit, but I know he's super fucking busy. He's barely sent me any clips in the last two weeks. Like, none. He's barely mentioned them. Uh. Occasionally, if he's bored, he'll pop in and do a joke. But these little jokes apparently run for miles and miles with these guys. And I'll come home from work. I'll pop in random spot. Let's see what the guys are saying today. Up oh, another Jim Grindle in the chat. Another piss goblin. So I am. I really am magic in so many ways because, like, I am fucking trolling hard <laughs> as Tyler Durden or something. Like my, I, I'm coming out of my body. I'm doing it. It's like a separate, it's amazing. It really is. Like, so I'm like physically doing real world stupid shit, but yet my ghost is still fucking haunting Kyle and Lewis, those little pricks, those hacky pricks. You were saying? I wish I could have that kind of multitasking where it's like, I could be doing something, but other me is (laughs) doing other shit and (laughs) eliciting some reactions. Well, at least you have two cocks like them Klingons. That's the wrong show. That's for Alpha Pod Rants. And guess what, folks? Start watching Alpha Pod Rants. You have 12 episodes till Christmas. That's right. The 12 Alpha Pod Rants until Christmas. And uh, if you show up to at least seven of them and you're there chatting the whole goddamn time, uh, you will get a Christmas present. That is the beauty of having no viewers. Uh, we get to send our entire audience christmas presents this year and uh we've got a lovely one picked out um too bad you don't get one damien because you're not on that show hey you can just imagine i got one. Oh shit we're going head to head with anthony zenhauser damien ah man we did ah fuck whoops i think we just like it's a real folk apparently there's some narrative out there of these people who like Kevin Brennan is one of them who thinks he goes on at 4 PM as a attack on Kumia or something like there's people who think they're going up against each other on YouTube as if it, as if they're like competing with one another in a way. And I guess they sort of are for that, you know, multi thousand dollar industry that is the dabble verse pandering to the same handful of fucking trolls, you hacky little cunts. Uh hacky. Like, come on, like the Joey C is run by Hack Ride, a clear uh troll. Um, <laughs> Hack Ride? Yeah, yeah, that's a whole other story. And you know what? I don't have as much details as I would need to really go in on it. You know, I would sound a little uneducated talking about this hack ride person beyond pace, gut feelings and, and, and things I have looked into, but yeah, he's just a shit musician with a couple of bucks. Um, maybe a trust fund kid or something. I don't know that much about him, or at least he had a couple of bucks. Ha 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 ha! Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, there was more than one. Yeah, well, what, what, what shit musicians? You got Luke of the Bind. You got yeah, Avalanche. Yeah. You got you got <laughs> Kai Bakakio for two weeks. <laughs> Who again? I too. well, uh, well, listen. Uh, if you listen to Half Ride's uh, music and then listen to what Kai does, their voices are very similar. They have the um. Kai is like if Hack Ride is doing a fake fucking hillbilly voice. It, it really does sound that way. Now, I'm not saying they're the same person, but as I said on the last episode of Night Creeps, the most fantastic program on the DJR network, all other programs are shit. 
<laughs> they were leaning away to spit on the ground. Caveat emptor, America, buyer beware. Uh, that right. needed to be said is why it fucking stay. I don't know why that's happening. I Maybe mean, I'm shaking off all the coffee. Um, those two might as well be the same person. That's what I said on that most wonderful thing. Um, hi, stinkers. Are we still ignoring you guys, Becky and V? Ugh. Um, don't touch me with those AIDS. Does Jim like, yeah, I loved it. It was real good. Um, I thought about buying a lottery ticket the other day. I, I backed out. They didn't have crossword. It's my favorite. If I'm going to spend $5 on a lottery ticket, I'd rather uh, have fun with it. You know, uh, that's a fun $5 because I could have won. I've won once in like 30 years on those crosswords. Uh, let's see. You've always been magic. That's why I want you to tell me I will be the best DJ in the world. Well, V, uh, you certainly can be the best DJ in the world. Oh, God. Look who's here, Mr. I don't even know the tag for our own fucking network. Great. Great. Uh, Mr. I'm so mediocre. I'm not even in color. Oh, great. I'm not even on a moving screen. I'll leave him out until he fixes himself. I don't want to fuck him over. I pull him in here. Uh, v, of course, disagrees about the video game soundtrack thing, obviously. Obviously. They can. Sent you a Twitter post, Jim. Thank you. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Grindle tells all. Excellent. I what will you follow you moving? now mm-hmm. as well. All right. Um, you know, you're here now. Yeah, I know you're not moving, though. Now let's it's look at... a movie from the 1920s. You fat piece of shit, Luke. We're reading comments, okay? Don't... I don't know what you're trying to do with your ass eating snit. Oh, he left now. Great. <laughs> you, you walked him, Damien. You walked him. What do you want me to do? Uh, Six frames a second, black and white? What the fuck did you say about Siegfried and Roy? For me? I don't know. Dabble story and says Lou and Kai are afraid of him. They didn't like his Jim Grindle impression in the chat. Ooh, I didn't see that one because I was watching earlier. I wasn't watching the chat too much. I was just listening in. And then that Joey C showed up. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Spot on. That guy is on like some serious oxys. Somebody needs to fucking send, get that man an intervention or something. That woman is still selling him his pills. That's all I, I got to say about that. Um, and then he's calling that NLO who Luke loves. And I really couldn't care. I, I could care less for, um, I like his style. Loves, that's I don't like word. his content. You love him. You said he has a pretty penis. It, it, those are for bat channels. Those are for the other chats. Don't uh, <laughs> think that he has good uh, analysis of other people. He's he's he is an asshole. He's a complete dickhead. Sometimes he can't spell and, analysis uh, with that anal. A S S H O L E. Everybody. I only did that because it was like twelve seconds since I last spoke, so I had to get some in there. You got it. But the thing is that this guy who perpetuates this um, cringe humor, which I can only take so much of, right? Cringing other people being terrible. Uh, especially when it comes to someone like Joey C, where he gets this little, it'll die down and then it'll be not. It's just annoying. It's annoying. But he's annoying too. And he's one of these who can who can go online and everybody in the world about himself all the time. and that is promotion that is the way but what oh you broke up a bit but i was gonna say even oh. yeah even even with every other word we're still getting as much of the story as we need so please wow, my internet on. really sucks 
it's it's something it's the government it's the government because mine too and i pay for the top notch internet which by the way i got to call them fuckers about that uh uh i'm not getting what i pay for i don't think i was going to show my underwear when he said cringe i got the new underpants you guys got to get them like the, underpants might as well be let me tell you they are so wonderful for comfort and dick health um i yeah. have always just been kind of hanging in my underpants like you know no support like the underpants just sort of maybe i wear them too big i don't know but i got underpants that were my proper size and they were the special ones that hold your dick and balls in another pouch like in a in they are so fucking comfortable. Every time you pull your underpants back up, it feels like just something just just gobbling up your cock and balls. It, Wait, it, the, it they they've got like a pocket for your cock yes, and balls. Yes, they have like this okay. V. They have a V in there, and uh, <laughs> this V just cups your dick and balls. And even like when you're not wearing it, it's got a big old dick and ball pouch hanging there. And here's the thing. Your penis fills that space. Like if you're like walking normal with like no support, your penis is, I don't know what it's doing. Uh, it's just like dead down there. But when you have it all supported, somehow it's filling that space even more. Like, uh, like it, it, it's like, um, feels like it just needs to f I, I am trying to say something besides fill the space it, but let me just tell you what a healthy penis i've been having since these underpants every time i go to take a urination i feel very proud uh it, it, it's just a wonderful pair of underpants because <laughs> it's not sticking to itself yeah, that's a thing too. Or, yep. You know, yes, to yes, the, the dick isn't sticking to the balls or like <laughs> there's none of that. That's absolutely a thing because it's not sticking. It's just held so perfectly. The blood is flowing properly, which doesn't make sense because if it's just hanging down, you'd think the blood would, you know, whatever. But or maybe it's just circulating its blood because it's kind of it, it, it's kind of like I don't want to say twisted up in there. But, you know, it's that pouch is just a glorious thing. Am I frozen for you guys or just me? Oh, I was about to ask. I was wondering if it was my shitty internet, but okay, uh, you're frozen. No, Luke is sucking that mic, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, you're frozen. Luke is like three frames of every thirty seconds. Yeah, Thank my background you. isn't frozen. This is a. Pr I like it. No, I like this. Uh, let's just leave it this way. I mean, this is the perfect gym. <laughs> it's it's kind of like we've got a Jimmy Grin's overlay. Yeah, it's like got a cocked eyebrow, there coffee up. If only the yeah. pinky was up. I mean, like, thank God you froze there. It could have been much worse. Could have had my mouth open. Yeah. But, no, now it seems kind of proud. Well, you no, V, you're pouch. wrong. You must. These are boxer briefs with the cock pouch, by the way. What are they called? What are they called? Woman, do you know what my underwear are called? She doesn't know. Um, they're Hanes. I know that much. They're in the store. Um, you'll see them. They're called cock holders. I don't know what they're called, but you'll see them. They're, um, they're very good. They're very good. That's all I can say. And you wearing boxers, you're ruining your penis and balls. I promise you. I promise you. My balls have been so tight, so tight lately. Like I, they Are used they to. I, they, people would call me stretching. Yeah, they're they're tight. They're what? <laughs> what? I know you were doing a Tacoma reference there. What was it? Yeah, soft. Yeah, they're, well, they are. They're tight and soft. I'll tell you, they're very tight and soft. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> the underwear are very noise. I am not ruining my penis and balls by squeezing them, dickhead. That's the thing. It's just putting your penis and balls into a separate pouch. There's plenty of room in the pouch, and then your penis fills that space. Your penis grows, V. 
Your penis grows. It It's just uh, being allowed to have its natural space. Maybe it's on defensive when it's con- it's hanging down, so it's constantly being rubbed against. You know the penis doesn't like that. Also, there's like these devices, apparently. Someone was on one of our shows. I don't know if it was an FGTZ show or old nothing era. What were you saying, Luke? Well, somebody oh, the was penis on. penis hates being rubbed. Well, it does. That's the thing. There are these devices you wear to um, maybe it was even V who said this ages ago. Somebody told me that they were desensitizing their penis or something like that by wearing a specific device that makes it so your penis doesn't rub inside your pants because rubbing inside your pants it that desensitizes it so they were they were resensitizing their penis by wearing this sort of device that uh, doesn't allow running rubbing so perhaps you know all that rubbing sort of numbs your penis and makes it whatever now this thing uh, that cups your ball it, it literally it, it's not squeezing your dick and balls v i promise you it's putting them into another pouch where there's plenty of room and then your penis your penis grows inside that pouch it, 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 it's it's a pouch for growing your penis it's all i can <laughs> and v confirmed in the comments penis belt that's right. This is, and, and 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 he's thanking us for the penis health talk in the comment, and he's saying, "I definitely did tell you this." So he is the one who wore the penis sense, sense decent resensitizer. Did one hundred percent. Yeah, he said Life's it. Work. Yeah, in the chat, I can't pull. I'm frozen. I obviously you see him. I can't pull the chat up, but he definitely confirmed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it now. <laughs> Thank you, V. <laughs> You're appreciated. Ah, oh, he's unfrozen. Ah, oh, look at it. Be careful; it might freeze again. You know, the wind might change. All that fucking shit. Oh no! <laughs> you, you want it to freeze, don't you? <laughs> I'm just giving people a chance to put a cock in my mouth. <laughs> well, you gave them plenty of <laughs> plenty of screenshots. All right. So somebody messaged me yesterday privately and said, "You go." Oh no, they're not even live anymore, are they? I was gonna prank call the NLL show. Somebody said to call in there and expose Lou and Kai, and I said, "How?" By pantsing them and showing off their tiny wieners. <laughs> nah, I don't really, besides saying that they suck and they're thieves, I don't know what else What else do you say about them. I don't like care about them like that. Yeah, he's not live. But I did, real quickly, because we're, I was trying to think of what we're going to do here. Uh, and I knew this too. I went to the robots and I said, hey, robots, I'd like to prank call this show. Give me some ideas. And they said, I can't do that. Prank calls are disruptive and harmful and dangerous. And I said, no, no, no. They like it. It's okay. Oh, in that case, that changes everything. And then they gave me some ideas. Terrible ideas. Would you like to go over some of these prank call ideas from the robots? Let's do. <laughs> All right. So I'm. You're gonna be the recipient of the caller. Okay. We're gonna act it out. We're gonna role play. All right. So here's the first one. Here's the first brilliant idea. Uh, ring, 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 ring. You have the most annoying phone on the planet. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Is this the Damien J. Rogers show? Uh, it is. Who is this? Uh, this is. Uh, uh, my name's Luke of the Bind. Uh, my friend Thank Bubbles. What the fuck? I had an imaginary friend named Bubbles, and he has run away after we had an argument about who's real. Oh, did you? So, uh, 
Why are you calling me about this? Why is this my problem? Well, Bubbles has neon green hair. See, it doesn't give you, though. It just tells you immediately to go on to describing Bubbles. Bubbles has neon green hair, polka dotted skin, and a penchant for tap dancing. I'm supposed to be in a panicked voice. Uh, I've been hearing tap dancing sounds everywhere. <laughs> you tuned in, I'm motherfuckers. <laughs> Caveat emptor. Very sorry to hear that. Uh, do you need some help? Uh, yes. Have you seen Bubbles? Are you secretly harboring him in your studio, Damien J. Rogers? <gasps> Have you been hearing tap dancing too? No. <laughs> I think I would have jumped off a bridge by now. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, I got a confession here. <sighs> Listen, Bubbles just wanted some airtime on the show. Uh, so thank you guys for playing along. Um, and here's, I'm going to end with a joke about how imaginary friends are the realest friends. Do you have to? No, that I just did. <laughs> okay. 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 That was called the escaped imaginary friend. How was my panicked voice? I didn't like it. It was hurting me. It was fine enough. V, I told you it was broken. I'm not frozen anymore. I'll show the God bless the robots. Um, okay. And we're cock and ball lovers. I'll tell you what, you guys are gonna see. You guys are gonna see my underwear eventually. I'm surprised it hasn't happened already. Really? Yeah. yeah well, hopefully it freezes uh, right before that. Just <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, your internet works. Yeah. yeah. For now. For now. All right, here. Let's 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 see if this one works. Okay, we got five of them, and we're not going to do them all, but we're going to do at least three because now that I'm seeing number five. Oh my God, number four is the underwear conspiracy. We're gonna we may do them. We may end up with them all uh, before we leave here. Oh my God, it's only been thirty two minutes. The spaghetti incident. Okay, now um, I'm going to call in. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, Hello? ring, 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 ring. Oh, no, I guess it's to Damien. It's a less annoying song. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, you went this one. I yeah, you can, Ring, ring, ring. It's a hipper. Uh, hello, a mediocre, hello, but hello. Ring. Hello? Am I calling the Lucas of the Bind Mediocre podcast show? That's <sighs> I, boring? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Why? Hi. Oh, well, I am currently very distressed. Uh, see, I, I accidentally... Well, okay. well... I, I was doing a magic trick, and I accidentally turned my cat into spaghetti. Well, are you going to take him down to a Chinese restaurant? Because it's really easy now. Um, sir, I don't. I, that, that, that doesn't say anything about the Asians in my notes. Oh, uh, my goodness. Wh wh why? What happened? What are you going to do? I'm highly offended. Well, I was trying a new spell from a magic spell book called Pasta Magic, and it, it, I just put uh. my cat through the pasta machine, and now he's big strands of spaghetti. Do you have String any theory advice? Is real. This is the you, twist. Oh, go ahead. String theory is real. You've proven it. We're all made of spaghetti. Oh, why don't you go and make a Schrodinger's cat joke, you prick? Look, do you have any advice? Instead of making stupid jokes, can you just give me some advice on how to turn my cat back? Or maybe some good sauce recommendations, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! It uh, might have hairballs. That's instead of meatballs. It's a special. That's what's that? That's a spicy hairball. All right, guys. I got to admit something, uh, Luke of the Bind of the mediocre podcast program. I'm just noodling you. Um, it's all a joke, but I hope you found it saucy enough. Boom! Bang! Boom. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you know AI wrote these and not you. Kill the robots. <laughs> I only did the part about um, that I put it in the pasta machine. Uh, other than that, that was all the robots. Wait a minute. Yeah, is this propaganda against 
AI. This is trying to turn. <laughs> that's us right. Them. I've, that's right. The DJR network is receiving government subsidies right now, um, and Writers Guild uh, funds. Writers Guild, yes, that's to right. go against the AI and show how goddamned terrible it is. And I'm sure you'll see an example of terrible AI writing in the new Pet Cemetery uh, prequel reboot prequel. That's right. We're getting a. John Lithgow, young Judd Crandall, not a Fred Gwynn, young Judd Crandall. Sad. But it's coming in two days. So tomorrow, not two days, tomorrow. So get excited, clowns. I am. Did I David Duchovny's in that as well? Yeah, yeah. But I didn't hear one rod in the fucking thing. What is happening now? Are you playing an electric guitar somewhere? What's happening? It's like some old fucking. We're, we're in like a 1930s factory. Sorry, sorry. I guess what that's the it? inside of my computer. Oh, all right. You, you got a bunch of Keebler elves. Cock right now? Did you say, so what about his cock? <laughs> Vacuum cleaner on it. Like, like oh. doofy. Scary movie. That makes sense. Has anyone actually ever done He's that? in my room. I don't know. No. <laughs> I hope not. No. <laughs> Probably. Does what it are work? you saying? Never. Almost definitely, yes. What is wrong with you people? I was I've always afraid it would rip We've my cock off. <laughs> I mean, that is preposterous. That is an absurd goes. assumption. <laughs> Can't believe you guys are accusing me of that. Is that why they got rid of the suck option? Didn't a lot of... Uh, well, you have to have a shop vacuum in order to do that right not all of them have the switch where you can go blow and suck i don't know it seems like you have some knowledge in this area <laughs> <laughs> now I'm oh, oh i was thinking no, about blowing no, that's uh, ridiculous air up my ass sorry uh, never mind you guys are talking ridiculousness <laughs> but the pool jet i mean you know that's a whole other story mm. who hasn't yeah. gotten their pekka stuck in a pool jet yeah. No, no, nobody. Else. Okay. Just Stuck me. Right. I'm a weirdo. Blowing, I'm like a weirdo. How are you? This is, you must have been really hard for that one. That was your special friend in the look, summer. Look, look, you'll all be sticking your dicks in machines soon, all right? So don't act like I'm weird. <laughs> well, you're right. That's what, oh, so when you go to like ah! look for porn now, they'll have. The virtual games that you can play, and they're like, you you should play this. It'll make you come in 20 seconds. And, and it's just virtual. And they say it's ass. just like that, too. And you're like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Pick a sexier voice. That's fucking creepy. <laughs> I might when be into this, but I'm too. not knowing that. <laughs> you don't Would look you? at the women-friendly section. <laughs> But yeah, I was hiding my titty robots. when I leaned over just so you know. And I'd like to say that V is absolutely a disgusting degenerate a blowjob toy. It's called a woman. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> You're trying to be all woke. Fuck you, V. Well, yeah, I guess if you're Forearmed. not into power tools, that you'll be into sexual power tools. So Rockley says she only takes dicks the size of a forearm. Well, uh, that is, um, I'm sorry, Damien, but you're just going to have to have sex with Rockley because you're the only one here who can meet that requirement. A size queen. Rockley is a size queen. Ow, 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 ow. I mean, Luke and I are just far too much. Too, we're way too big, uh, obviously. So you you're the one with the tiny little forearm penis. So you're gonna have to. <laughs> you, you bigger her. than a forearm? Can you even walk? <laughs> What's going on right now? Why do you that think I have special penis. underpants? I, I have special orthopedic underpants with with a little fucking stick on wheels underneath. What do you what do you what do you think? Is this an age thing? You're just trying to make it seem better. I've got these special pants that must separate things. No, because I'm so <laughs> no. old. <laughs> Are you a moment with your magic underpants? <laughs> I've told you, goddammit, you people. I've been telling you I have mangled 
My right nut is mangled from the dangle. Let me tell you, <laughs> from years of just not even wearing underwear, I was a free oh. baller. Uh, She's saying dicks made out of four. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, she like, could backtrack that, that all she wants. That, you know, they grew the new dick on the four of. Scientific Yikes. magic. Well, how about an entire thigh for a dick? There you go. It reaches all the way down oh, to like my a knee chicken thigh. Yeah, damn! It. I was gonna say like a chicken thigh, a regular thigh. It's Jesus Christ! I should have. <laughs> I should have known chicken. when I was reaching for a chip chipperson. Damien was already reaching too. <laughs> what else have I got? <laughs> Terrible jokes. We should just call you Dame Damien or something. <laughs> Put a wig on you, Dame Damien. <laughs> Uh, if I had a wig budget, you better believe I'd have some wigs. <laughs> oh, well, you got, a, you got a wig budget now, buddy, let me tell you. I want a wig. All right, know, wigs wigs here. coming up. Wigs coming, all right? Wigs are coming for everyone, so you better get your... Fucking wigs. You, like you know what? We're all getting wigs, and we're gonna do the lady version of our shows. We're just you're gonna be you're gonna be Demina. I'm gonna be uh, Jamina, and he's gonna be Luke. <laughs> yeah. What are you showing me? That she showed me that her pants say sixty nine on them. Like, yes, <laughs> what the fucking... <laughs> She's wearing like some astrology pants with like all types of dumb astrological things on them. All right, get out of here. I don't care what, about and 69. you see Uranus. Sixty nine your pants. Uh, Isn't that the Virgo symbol? The sixty nine. She ain't they no like Virgo. She had like two children out of that thing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. How about a dick made out of prosciutto? Wait a minute. Isn't that a reference to something? Isn't Jim going to make a prosciutto dick? for uh, A prosciutto penis, you vulgar yeah. bastards. Well, that's same. Learn a little bit about uh, phonetics, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Dick sounds funnier. Prosciutto penis. Prosciutto penis sounds way funnier. In fact, I have a friend who is uh, working on some stand-up comedy, and I won't tell the joke, obviously, but it was a tall person joke. And then he says, I'm a tall person, and I know what you're thinking. That doesn't uh, mean I have a big dick. I suggested tall penis. Instead of big dick. I'm a tall person. That doesn't mean I have a tall dick. Um, I thought that would be funnier than the blunt than just slapping a big dick over someone's head. Uh it's a little vulgar and crude. Um my personal opinion. So yeah, uh, maybe just a little bit play with the words. Did I don't know. Prosciutto it? penis. Prosciutto penis. Nine. Get it? Sixty nine. <laughs> So did you get a writing Duh, credit? Look at that? my pants. Duh. Your show's dumb. Look at my pants. There's 69 on them. I've worn these pants for seven years, and I just noticed. Duh. She probably just bought them. <laughs> <laughs> but women are that stupid. Right, Broccoli? <laughs> I didn't notice for 20 years that this shirt said I'm a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> not because, not because it, your joke took. I'm just not. I don't pay attention to other people. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. We're all narcissists. <laughs> <laughs> Queerly, I'm narcissists. a dark empath. What did Damien say? Dark dork empath. <laughs> Forget it. I love Star Trek Enterprise. It is the best Star Trek that has ever been made. Wrong there's show. never there's never been a better Star Trek Enter Star Trek program than Enterprise. Period. It's the best. Everybody who has said otherwise is a fat stupid idiot. Period. Period.
It's the most important Star Trek beyond the best. He just likes best. to watch titties. That's a that's all. That's what that. There's show is way about. more cock in that show than titty. That those mother want to talk about underpants to hold your dick and balls. They pioneered the technology because I walk around. I go, hey babe, I'm Trip. Look yeah. at me. You want to do a medical exam on me? And then I lay on the bed with my with my peck up poking up in a bulge, and I'm like, I'm Trip. Ugh. <laughs> that, that makes was sense that to five people on the planet running around in his underwear and yes it, it did form around it seemed and held up and separated the dick and balls, dick and balls. so you're right they, and they had to put it. like some kind of fake pee pee in there and and let me tell you something and these these boys my boys look way better than 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 trip and archer's pekka's looked let me tell you, I'm 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 wearing these underpants way better than them, and it's also like t-shirt material too. It's 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 delightful. It's not that usual underpants material. Uh, the first day it took a little getting used to. Like when you're sitting down, you certainly feel the difference of material on your bottom. Feels a bit cooler, almost wet, but then you realize it is not, and you realize that's not it's just a slight different feeling and that different feeling is wonderful it's a wonderful feeling on your bottoms well i'll have to try it i guess you have to try it dick health buddy you're getting old damien don't don't pay attention to this your dick is still fine um you are getting okay. old enough and you're fat so you probably do want to know this actually the fat makes up <laughs> you you that's right you probably want a pair of these under in fact uh if i have to buy them for you boys i'll buy you boys underwear because these underwear are thanks the underwear. Auntie. auntie jimmy thank you you must, you must, you must, mother. I'm getting a picture of these underpants so that, just so you can you see. You think that's added to? <laughs> yeah, there's not because they can't show you. You don't see the shape of a penis, even though actually you don't see really penis shape in these underpants I'm wearing. You just see a, a big old bulge of cock and balls. Uh, mm. But um, yeah, you don't really see much definition um working up an appetite to this it's morning. pretty good uh let's see but yeah that they don't it's network tv man they, they can't show stuff like True. that it's gotta be a prosthetic in there to cover up but i'm gonna find these underwears what do i call them um haynes dick and ball supporting underwear Let's see what comes up. Uh, okay, total support pouch. Uh, nope. I'm looking at pictures of men in their underpants now. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Uh, what? Well, that's not the underpants. I can't show you these things because let me tell you. Well, I could probably show you this one. Uh, I think I can. Yeah, I can. I'm sure this is legal to show. So uh, here we go. And that's not the underpants I have. <laughs> I fucking hope not. <laughs> not at all. Oops. Do you Wrong like looking head. like you've got a hard on all the time? Well, then buy these. <laughs> <laughs> you can be stopped, but the ladies will think you've Although, got something going on. I'm not going to lie. I might want to give it a try. I'll tell you that much. Uh, they don't look like the worst, but uh, I want to find. Okay, here we go. Here's a picture of the <laughs> inside of these underwear. Perfecto. No All right. Droops at the front. Looks sad. You don't want sad dick on the pen. Well, let me tell you, with these underpants, you will never have a sad dick again. Take a look. That pouch is like a giant vagina for your dick and balls. A little bit. <laughs> Seems to enhance the cheeks. <laughs> a built-in uh, I tell you what, I got a smooth feeling booty now. Uh, it feels nice. Nice and swift. Nice and swift.
feels my booty feels swift. <laughs> so that's them. That's what that's what you're wearing right now. <laughs> Stop that. Swift. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is swift. But it's Very not noise. Swift. <laughs> I'm sure it's toy too, but it's not noise. Very toy. Very toy. <laughs> yeah, so go get those people. They're not called Hanes Dick and Ball supporting underwear. They're called Hanes Total Support Pouch, Men's Boxer Brief Underwear Anti Chafing Multi Pack. Uh, I guess they prevent it, chafing. It looks like the flashlight of Underbed. I tell you what, you know, we break barriers around here all the time. We squash stereotypes around here all the time. And I can tell you for a fact, in my Hanes total support pouch underpants, I look way better than this black man. I fill them out. Woman... Does my penis not look way better in those underpants than this man? <laughs> Wait, that's way what it does better. to a black man? We're, 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 we're talking oh, about twice the bulge, buddies. Twice the bulge. At least twice the bulge of what's in that man's tiny underpants. Tiny underpants. You see, they're turning me into a tyrant. These underpants may be a bad thing. <laughs> they're giving me big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any more energy than I already have. That guy's either unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's not the best. Uh, I guarantee <laughs> you all of your dicks will look better than this man's dick uh, in this these underpants. They are glorious. You guys will have wonderful looking penises, I promise. Is it? such a thing? And a penis <laughs> a wonderful, wonderful looking penis. <laughs> God made the human penis. Would God make an ugly thing? Mm, you've seen Lou and Kai's not on a camera for a reason. <laughs> I'm going to take this man's cock off my other screen. And then those other cocks. All, and then there's more cocks. Okay, finally, all the cocks are gone. <laughs> so you don't like want to see what I'm seeing right now. Cock. She's wearing a ratty Chrissy Mayer wig that is just like been balled up in a corner and it, she just looks like a sea hag it's come out of the ocean to fucking <laughs> rub her stink on me. Ugh, get out of here, Ariella. <laughs> Ugh. Poor Frank Pellegrino. That's what I keep telling you about your... Now what are you doing with Keanu? Oh, am I getting this fucking foursome? Is that what's happening? So I don't, where's the bet of a million dollars? Because if she's got Keanu, she's got Chrissy. I don't know what she's fucking doing in, in my stuff. <laughs> what are you doing in my stuff? My stuff is here. No, it's not. None of your stuff is there. No That's all my things. No, what are you doing in my stuff? Why are you moving my stuff around? No. She's moving my stuff around. I'm going to lose <laughs> my mind. What is she doing? What's in the box? What are you going in the box? Get out of my box. <laughs> See, that's my box. Don't put those teeth in there. Don't put, the, don't, don't put those teeth in there. Those teeth don't go in the box. I'll never find them again if they're in the box. Don't put that box under the other boxes. And you're going to leave it that way. What are you doing? Uh, there's nothing for you there. Where are you going with that one? It's mine. It's not hers. It's not her box. What if I just went in your box without your permission? You do it all the time. I never do not. When's, when's the last time I raped you? Jesus. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, camera, but he's coming. He must be taking. He has to be taking his shit. Like he actually has to be. 
I want to pay him with a with a hearty <laughs> belly laugh for that one. That's nah, worth it. <laughs> Teeth in a box, Becky. Hey, Luke, she's too busy watching that clown, Anthony Zenhauser. <laughs> We're up against Anthony Zenhauser. Anthony Zenhauser's up against us. We didn't land on Anthony Zenhauser. He's just a man. How do you land on a man? So we just put up the uh, the acting reel I made for him on his YouTube. I seen it. Oh, you want to look at it? Let's look at it. Want to look at it? We'll look at it. Uh, Anthony Zenhauser. Luke's, Luke's YouTube. taking his shit. Doesn't Luke. care about the show. So exactly, well. exactly. And it's not like we have any sort of content. So a good nine no. and a half minute acting <laughs> reel. I think we spent enough time talking about Cox. Oh, way enough time talking about Cox. But is there ever enough time to talk about Cox? I Cock mean, health? Really. Provide- it is. We're providing value for our audience. Um, I seen a really horrible acting reel. <laughs> way to start it out, huh, Mr. Zenhauser? I one time saw the worst I, when I was casting uh, The Wizard of Oz for the Theater of the New Arts in uh, New York City, an off-Broadway uh, playhouse, not an off-off-Broadway. So, you know, it was close to Broadway. But then a stupid Puerto Rican midget finally read the script and fucked everything up. But we had gone so far... Th- a little person, I'm sorry. It, the midget was the term then. Uh... <laughs> Then still it, a dirty Puerto Rican. Though. She's still, yeah, still a dirty Puerto Rican rice and beaner. Because uh, that's different. It's not this. It was a spin on the racial. That's why we're. It's transformative content. It's not actually. It, it's a joke. So anyway, YouTube stupid robots. Um, I was when I was casting. People sent in a ton of fucking audition reels and acting tapes, and it was like watching your own private. Tommy Wiseau performances in mass. There was so many of them. I remember this one guy. He was an African gentleman. Uh, not being racist, stupids. He was an actual African man, uh, and he like was doing this stuff where like he had a suit and tie on. He was like in a garage, like a, like a like a mechanic's garage, and I he was like, not hit her. "I did not." Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you are telling me about Lisa. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the, um, he did this thing where, like, he put on these sunglasses so dramatically, and then he lit the cigarette so dramatically, and then he like fucking smoked the cigarette a bit so dramatically, and it was all really drawn out and slow and no words. <sighs> And then he took this big dramatic drag and then he flicked it and, it, oof, and did this fucking roundhouse kick to the cigarette in the air. And it fucking <laughs> blew my dick off. Let me tell you. So, it's, so it's he like, was cast. It off African, <laughs> African rocket man. And then all of a sudden, bam. Yeah, yeah. And, and there was more to the reel, which it was basically variations of that. It was just him in some sort of (laughs) random scene going through, like, he's making toast dramatically, (laughs) silently. (laughs) And then the toast pops up. And then he, like, (laughs) fucking kicks it. That didn't really happen, but it was shit like that. Uh, And again, he was cast. I I definitely cast him. Uh, I didn't know who he played. We didn't quite decide. It was between him and a chick, actually, to play Hitler. Um, But he would have ended up with a role one way or the other. Maybe I would have had him play the Cowardly Lion. Um, If you guys remember the FGTZ performance, that was a pregnant uh, uh, black lady. So it would have been, you know, non culturally appropriate what is this he's writing on the shoe liar network what what oh oh because that's where that jerk anthony zenhauser is so let's speaking of terrible horrible not so good very bad acting reels let's take a look at anthony zenhauser's i'm joking i hope it's not bad 
Nine minutes, I'm going to go take a piss. <laughs> oh, okay, because yeah, you're leaving me here for this, you son of a bitch. No, with that intro, I really hope it's not bad. Okay, this is better because I'm looking that way. All right. Um, I didn't want to do this. Let's not compete with Anthony Zenhauser. Let's join forces. Baltimore man gets gender reassignment surgery in order to win more fights with his wife. Black people are darker than white people. Who's to blame? Belgium. Nobody can find it on a map. Does it really exist? Spider Man, Cowboy, Monkey. Which is the number one sought after job by retarded people? He definitely needs to keep that facial hair. Um. Men without facial hair are just, uh, you know, they're just not as manly. I gotta say that. Uh, no, they're just, uh, they're they're just lesser men, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, these bald faced weirdos. But um, you yeah, know, he much better with the facial hair. Does this count as an acting reel? Isn't this something from his YouTube? Because uh, if so, I mean, does it? Can I put this on my acting reel? I'd like to because. This ain't no real person that acts like this, you fucking dullards. Not you fucking dullards, the other dullards who don't fucking get anything ever. Um, okay, let's continue. That's a long pish, Damien, you Australian piece of shit. All this and more on Late Again. Oh, it is. See, yeah, that was from his show. Just a long pish. What the fuck? What the fuck, Damien? You mi yes, I did. Hey, this is this is the acting reel you made. What is this? This is I know the man's been in movies. Why you got YouTube clips on here? I this guess, is not, I, this isn't an acting reel. I did with what I was given. It's good. Well, at least he's got facial hair for this one. So let's look. Welcome to Less Sports, the sports show that brings you all the scores, the stats. Now, why are we doing this? Because we do like Anthony Zenhauser, and there's no way you're ever going to look at a good acting reel ever by anyone. Like, so what was the point of doing this? And the excitement. What? His eyes why are, are too close this? together. You're why right. You did this. You did it. You did it. I was just saying something. And you're like, Let's you're like oh, I made an acting reel for Anthony Zenhauser, full of his YouTube right, clips. This you you jerk by. off. Remember, make it a fun <laughs> night with a cold if you're playing a character, Budweiser. you're also acting. So yeah. So then I can use this for an acting. Every Damien, make show me you an acting you. reel, please. <laughs> I'll pay you forty-three dollars. Oh, no, I won't. Sweet, make daddy numb. Oh. The f drank all my whiskey. I get another one. So is he playing Gino Bisconte here? We're going to get the last night of baseball, but first I wanted to say a couple of things to the fans out there. Since sports have been on hiatus, old Leslie here is in pretty bad. Well, he's drunk, he's boring, he's talking about sports. Along with a he's wearing a suit right. jacket. Yeah. I thought you were talking about me, but I was like, I wasn't talking about sports. Just left me for her Brazilian the sunglasses, daughter, that throws it off a little. That's how well, you know, he, he didn't have a headband. She kicked me out of Pretends house. to not be Gino. I mean, we all know he lives with his mother, so there's Anthony Zenhauser. So obviously he can't afford a headband. He had to work with his mom's sunglasses, obviously. And her wig. The youngest one can't even speak English because he's adopted or retarded or something. He can only express his I like the chain through colors and shapes. hanging down. He like he has the the buttons down low enough right. so you can oh. see his chain. So what? Yeah, like a dirty, greasy Italian. Look. Yeah. I would oh, if if I got that. What what is he targeting here with this acting reel? I'd like to know. If I were, and you're welcome, Becky, competing with Zenhauser, you bitch. If I were to have seen this reel when I was casting the Wizard of Oz, I would have said, yep, and I'd have taken him in a second inside of me. But <laughs> that, who, who, what? I'm not sure. What audience is what I'm trying to say is, what's he trying to get with this sort of an acting reel? Is what I'm saying. Do you know? Are you aware? Was that made clear in the instructions? Maybe Mr. Zinhauser can say so himself as well uh, if we ever ask him. But yeah, do you have any speculations? We are I really mean, striving for thriving, it, uh, struggling for content. A little bit. There's a mix of this. There's like a bit of a, a movie he was in in this. Uh, 
Yeah, I was just given several things, and I took way too long to put it together because that's what I do. I but, now know why he was cast in that last movie with the fucking screaming weirdo, the guy just fucking screaming and having diarrhea for an hour and a half. I, I don't know, that movie was well shot, but where he played like a hotel manager or something. What? It's called like or something like that. I forget. <laughs> I didn't see that. It was fucking horrible. Becky said, hey, uh, Zen's in a new movie. You guys want to do a watch along, like review thing of it? And I'm like, no, it might not be a good idea. I already saw half. of. Well, I skimmed through it and it was I hated it so much. I watched his full scene, but everything else was unbearable. Yeah, I haven't seen the whole movie. I, I just saw the scene that he was in, but he was great in it. Of course, of course he was great. He's wonderful in these clips, but yeah. what what are they aimed for is my question. Well, yeah, generally with an acting reel, you're going to target a certain thing. So obviously, I mean, comedy, he's not trying to be a dramatic actor with any of this. I don't think he's trying to be a dramatic actor anyway. Oh, you don't think? You don't think he was looking for an Oscar with his performance of fucking but I'm just saying. Eugene Biskeen? If he's wanting to be cast... <laughs> In movies. Sounds like someone who was circumcised without that permission. <laughs> of See, course, Damien's sure got to go ahead, Luke. It's actually scripted, or if this is just all off the cuff and then cut, cut, cut. Um, I'm thinking this is off the cuff from his yeah. program. So From his YouTube program. It's a little different. Although, really, nowadays, reality TV is considered real TV, so... Maybe that's all improv, right? That's all. Damien, I would like you scripted. to put my um, Chrissy Mayer impressions um, on, on my acting reel, please. <laughs> also, you can find I, I played a character called Scalamander Valasquez, leader of Antifa. Uh, you can also put him up there on my acting reel. Thank you. Want to watch more? We have to. We have to find something good in it. Every day is a death sentence. So let's get in the last night. Hee hee. What? Paul? Oh, we're out of time. I hate so this. Because of sports. Of sports. Can we get Why past it? All right, there we go. Newscaster with a mustache. Cats that masturbate while watching you sleep. This is different than the last newscaster character in his acting reel. Because this newscaster has a mustache. The other one looked like a um escapee from the fucking sex pervert house but i can't it's not going back so that's why i said such a horrible joke uh sex pervert house yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right so god doesn't want anthony zenhauser to have promotion there we go this is promotion by the way we are <laughs> this is positive support and promotion for our friend dear friend of the network anthony zenhauser France. Still as a much as it sounds like Jimmy Grins hates it, this is actually promotion. <laughs> this is the way I show love. Calories. <laughs> See, he I looks know. way less fucking and weird and creepy Uber now. Exposed. Look at him. It's a Yang -Yang you, you're Yang far Yang less Yang looking at his jowls and. On late again. Why do you think I grew a beard, stupid Anthony Zenhauser? And look at that. Now he almost looks fuckable. Well, like someone who would try to do rape. Definitely. What happened to Les Younger's hair? So who are these characters? There's not even any consistency in these goddamn characters. Now I'm getting annoyed. What is this, Damien? I think it's good. <laughs> Yeah. This is less younger looking more older. You were paid to say that, weren't you, Damien? No, I wish. <laughs> oh, man, if I got paid to just say positive things about people all day, <laughs> I'd, make, I'd be a millionaire. Okay, is the, can, you just, can you just spoil alert and say, is there anything good in this? It's just these two fucking characters, you jerk off. You know this is not a real like acting the, reel, right? Uh, I think the middle is the uh, movie stage. Somewhere in, I think it's the middle. I, I can't remember. It's been a while. What was this? A random picture of a lesbian weightlifter? You did that, Damien. 
It's called Meanie. Damien. It's Chief O'Brien. Oh, here you go. Now at the end, you tag in the fucking one movie that he was just in. You know he was in a bunch of movies, right? Me? Yeah, you, Mr. Fucking Acting Real Editor. <laughs> Again. All right, well, I guess we don't need to see that movie uh, clip. So there we go. It doesn't want us to. Nope. Nope. I'm going to yell at my cable people. We all should. Yeah. I uh, I don't even have cable. I got wireless bullshit, so I'm surprised it's even working now. Holy shit. Yeah, we can tell, Luke. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. We can tell that I'm you just don't so have poor. I can't real. afford super chats or you anything can't. real. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So have you read this one stat? Uh, did anyone tell you this, Damien? That um, Stevie Lou, who went on a little obsessive rant about Luke, how he can't, he's broke and can't afford to do super chats I or did something. Say that, much, but yeah. that is, we did talk about this in a show, didn't we? Uh, uh, there's no, nothing new. One of the chats, I saw that. There's it, really. It Oh yeah, because Damien's just a blinky weirdo, right? Is it was that part of that whole thing? Yeah, I blink like a psychopath, and I. What was? I, what, what was that from? I, I, I don't. I, I don't know this. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. know uh, Damien this. said something in that thread somewhere. And then Stevie went on the attack too. Oh, say you know, just sit there silently and blink and be stupid like you are. <laughs> he told me. Uh, he called me speech impediment man too. I was like, oh, good one, stupid. You really got me. He's like, yeah. Oh, what did you blink? Blink like a psychopath and sniffle into the mic. So, That's I, yeah. That, I, sniffle. Yeah, yeah, sniffle. Yeah. Wait. When and where? I must have missed it because I'm stupid. What my, like, must have just said so when I asked when and where was be, this? Probably nearly a week ago, uh, maybe not that much. I don't know, a few days ago. It was part of that same thing that you mentioned with him saying I was cheap. And then oh, it it was, oh, on Twitter, uh, yes, on Twitter, on the tweets, got you on the X. Your Twitter since 2000 and what 12, 6. How long? I'm not calling you X. I'm sorry. <laughs> not for a while. A couple of years, maybe I'll call you X. It could be Y or Z tomorrow. They could change it to whatever they fucking want at any time. So I'm going to like play some game of, of fucking corporate branding in my brain where I got to... It is X now. Uh, I'm going to correct my... These people are all... I hate everybody. Dude, It's uh, it sounds like I'm just talking shit about people who don't exist and i wish i was it just seems like it's most of them it seems like people really do take x or twitter seriously or i'm streaming at the same time as uh anthony cumia like or any of it seriously it really does seem that way like, I think Kai really thinks he destroyed NLO, which is what they're saying. We, we whopped it. We whopped his. He came to stream snap us. And then we stream snapped him right back. And then we whopped his face in the dirt. <laughs> like, I think he believes it. <laughs> in Tetris. Oh that wasn't me blowing my brains out. That was me sucking a cock. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah. Yummy. Uh, progressive. <laughs> oh, just, just, yeah, that's, motorboating that's a cock. Some, huh? that's, Luke. The, that's the reality. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. The level of delusion with people is fucking insane. 
it's like a horror movie in the way of like, I can't even like picture, like, I don't know, Rebecca De Mornay in the end of Hand That Rocks the Cradle. I'm sure this scene didn't happen, but. My pretty baby. It's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, Total pure delusion, nightmarish levels of let's go narrate it, please. So, yeah, my thing where please, please don't give Luke any attention. He mean guy. Wow. Wow. And then Kish replied with man, Luke, this guy really doesn't like you. And then Damien guy implies he's got balls. I've seen no evidence to this governor. <laughs> You've seen evidence to the contrary, Pip Pip. <laughs> okay, speech and private man too. I'm so real, cause I'm Stevie Lou. I bring it real everywhere, man. I'm like I'm like a uh, uh, a fishing reel. I'm very long and lanky, and I stink. You, you, you know, for the record, uh, Stevie, uh, everybody out there should know, Speech Impediment Man only talks that way because of the fentanyl Stevie Lou sold him. Uh, I'm just saying. Carry on. Allegedly in Tetris. And then Damien replies, good one, stupid. You really got Oh, me. yeah, you had to go stupid. You had to fucking read it. <laughs> I would have read it all me like, Good one, stupid. You really got me. I. I was really trying. <laughs> Good one, the... you're right, cunt. I, I... And then, <laughs> of course, Mister. You flatter. <laughs> Mister Real Stevie. Why don't you sniffle into the mic and blink like a psycho a little more, too, while you're at it for me, thanks. Do you sniff into the mic? Maybe he watches Teehee TV. That is a pretty terrible show. I do breathe through my nose, and I'm using a Fisher-Price headset, so it really picks up more of my nasal problems than I would like, but unless sniffling implies that I'm crying or something. And sure, you spent Slim Fairy View's money on vodka instead of proper equipment, but, you know, I'm sorry, it was whiskey. <laughs> it Wash actually it wasn't. down with the I brown. I haven't spent any of that yet. I'm just trying to get it from YouTube. They want tax information I don't have, but that's a whole other thing. Eee. How does that work? Oh, yeah. Who owns YouTube? Wait, Google and who owns Google? Where is it really? Ah, they're getting tax money. It's probably a foreign investor. I I, I've got everything money. set to Australian, but they want U.S. tax information. So I, I don't know. I got to contact somebody and try and figure out what the fuck. Because obviously I don't have U.S. tax information. I can't give them that. Well, I, well, I don't want to destroy Dude. riveting content. I do want to yeah. say, get on it, you cunt. Well, I don't know. Get on money. it. Get the goddamn money so you can get your goddamn equipment. I want that money, and then going forward, you want I can Stevie Lou to keep like making fun of you, Damien? Thirty cents each that we make a month. <laughs> you want that big bully Stevie Lou to keep picking on you, Damien? Because he's gonna. Hey, you can go ahead, but have you, seen, have you seen that fucking head? Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> Look. When you look like Stevie Lou, when your life's like Stevie Lou, that's just what you got to do. You've got to go around and try to shoot others down because you're just a pathetic, sad little piece of nothing. And, uh, you know, but at least he's not Lou Rodriguez. <sighs> that one. That's it. It's sad. Yeah, person who I won't name. I'm going to call in NLO and expose. What am I going to expose? That you're all making fun of a literal R word? You fucking monsters. Like, there's a reason why we never exploited Lou in that way and tried our goddamnedest to treat him like a human being. Sure, his lol Cali tendencies, Cowie tendencies would peer through and... Sure, we'd exploit those cracks, so to speak. Roll with them. Have fun with them. In a not mean way. In a very inclusive and, and <laughs> open way. Um, as we do with ourselves and our own inadequacies and failures. Like Luke's terrible music. We make fun of uh, <laughs> ourselves and the things... 
Um, we <laughs> hold like, dear. If I, if I didn't have a sense of humor about myself, I would have quit this show, all of these shows, anything, like a he, month or two into fucking joining FGTZ. Yeah, you'd have really probably, if you took it seriously, have yeah. suicided already. It's Tetris. That, that too, I would have quit, and I would have, you know. Beep yeah. boop. <laughs> Luke, you were going to say something before your poor internet, because you're poor. Uh, and I don't mean poor like shitty. I mean, yeah, like you're poor. Your poor internet uh, is being poor again. Do you have any, Can you, you were trying to say something? I remember. See, that's how poor. Even my brain is poor. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, like, you know, everyone, we can make fun of my neck vagina. You know what I mean? Like, I got a neck vagina. Look at it. It's like a... Uh, see? I got I got line. I got a line on my neck. I mean, come on. It's like a worm's neck. I bet, I bet nobody else has that. Anyway. <laughs> Stop telling me that. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Look at it. Here. <laughs> so I'm. I, I feel bad. What am I gonna do? Expose Lou. That's. Th th it's just sad. It's sad that he doesn't see he's being made fun of by everyone around him. I still believe Joey C is among the greatest of trolls, uh, and he can't be that far beyond Michael Scott. The. It's just. I. I yes. I understand your argument from the other day, Luke. That. Of course he can be and all the reasons as to why he can be real but with the perfect storm of everything fake surrounding him it all screams work i mean there's professional wrestlers who do this shit for a fucking living the word professional is implied right so it, it's not that hard to believe uh that uh this Joey C is faking the funk all the way through. Um, it's funny you bring up Michael Scott because when I think of Michael Scott doing Prison Mike, that's what Joey C is like. It's Michael Scott doing an Italian guy. That's kind of what it yes. seems like. Yes, Michael Scott. I mean, <laughs> Joey C is like this perfect gift from the comedy gods uh, if he's not an act it's just too perfect and nothing is perfect nothing almost nothing is real and and certainly nothing is is a coincidence um that was a little throwback for v who likes to talk about sevens exposed a lot it's an old thing we did years and years ago on the nothing network but this joey c even if he's real, everyone around him is fake. And I'm including Kai on that. What's the perfect fucking chances that somebody is as delusional, cartoonishly far-fetched as Kai, right? Uh, as a delusionally far-fetched cartoonish as Joey C. And then you have Mr. Big Shot, a literal, like, autistic, m mentally ill type character and you see the difference in Mr. Big Shot and Joey and Kai and all the other fake characters that show up in that world. You see the difference in Lou, who we know is real in his illness, his disease. This guy says Kai is a fed, a fed. He's an act. That's the point. He is playing sides for someone. It's all a goddamn game. Uh, Kai, Hack Ride, um, Joey C and Lou knows I'm right, but he is so desperate to hold on to his ego because that's his sickness. His being right in his mind is so important to him that he will. That's a good idea to drop out uh, that he will. Um, I like that better than your face. Oh, OK. Uh, it was a very nice screen. That pulled a Luke. It sure did. Um, Lou knows better because he's been here he has seen me call these characters for a near decade now he knows i'm fucking right he to not consider what i'm saying to be truth 
would make him the stupidest motherfucker who has ever walked this planet. It would make him as ignorant as well he actually is. So, you know, he will ignore this. But he's seen it time and time again. He knows the game and how it's played, and yet he's deep inside of it now, and he can't see he's being played. He's been invited to dinner for schmucks. He's the schmuck And he just doesn't see it. And I feel bad about it. So, I don't feel that bad. (laughs) Let me be clear. I just feel, I don't feel a reason to necessarily go in, like, to expose him. See, aren't you really seeing that neck, worm, neck, vagina, now that I pointed it out? Yeah. (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't see this need person who has responded to expose. He's exposing himself and nothing for nothing. He truly does deserve what he gets because he is an arrogant, egotistical, narcissist, lunatic. And he has not been a great person in his life. What he forgets is... I know him. I know his family. I've had relationships with his family members. You know, we would all play sexual. Yes, I had sex with his family members. We would play basketball together um, uh, on the video game machine, NBA 2K. Which and, is what uh, pissed him off, right? It, it is. It's one of the big things. That's because his son bought him a PS5 or some situation like that for Christmas. Um, meanwhile, it probably doesn't get his son shit for Christmas. You know, uh, the point is, I know him. I know the inside stories. And that's what I'm trying to say. He's not been a great guy um, at all. Uh, his ideas of, of uh, it's wonderful how he's taken responsibility for this grandchild and you know it usually is the way it goes these um these derelict people they usually at the end stage of their lives kind of have to pay back that debt eventually it's like they try to skirt the the, the parenting their whole lives and then well you're gonna get you, it's because you did such a shit job you're gonna end up getting having to raise your grandchildren so you, you're gonna pay that debt eventually unless you're just pure garbage and then you know the u- universe usually just erases you um one way or the other that but as tommy says you need to feed them every once in a while so they're not screaming. yeah i heard about that apparently he was screaming well i don't know lou mentioned something i listened to their show today and he mentioned that he was making a bottle because someone won't get out of bed i don't know if he's talking about his woman about his kid i don't know but uh again he is being um at least he's being a good grandpa now uh but he was a he was a you listen to nothing shows um and you will soon people because we're i'm putting up some shit soon um for fun uh mostly about stone and i and our little game that we set forth uh we set in motion in 2016 Uh, it relates to now and it's goddamn funny in my opinion but burp yeah so that old shit it'll come soon and especially with where lou's going now so yeah maybe there's some exposure coming there for lou um, because it is a comedy of tragedy and that's what uh i think um that's been the art in my little world this whole time uh a, a, a tragic comedy and you'll hear that phrase a plenty um but unlike these cunts like melton lucas's boyfriend and uh joey c <laughs> and kai <laughs> unlike these cunts i was not malicious uh, i'm like that uh organic fucking lol cow farmer you know what i mean like i i i, I pet my piggies and i talk to them and i I love them and I treat them kind and I and I don't eat their flesh. I drink their milk. Oh, I drink yes. their titty milk. You Lose don't big slaughter titty them. Milk. <laughs> Daniel Day grins. Well, <laughs> I drink just, that milk. Jake. Just like Jake. I mean, Lou has doesn't like Jake at all. But in the same context, both Lou and Jake came here and we tried to present them as a member as a 
a real person, a real member of the team that can like discuss Great things example. with us and go back and forth and actually use what's going on in their brain and the way that they see things as, as a positive thing instead of just dumping on it all the time. That's why it's hilarious that we took what we we stopped doing the morning show. We took like two weeks off and then Jake completely flipped on us because we weren't there to actually treat him nice. And all of a sudden, and it, then, you know, Kyle Pachaccio got in his ear and started playing mm -hmm. his games because that's the thing. They play games. Carry on, please. With people who don't understand that it's all a game. And right. They, they, One of whom Jake talks about self-harming himself. It says he gets frustrated and hurts. Literally one of the first things he ever says, I, I self-harm myself. But when he was hanging out with us, he said, hey, guys, I've been having a great time. Shows have been going good. I've been in a good mood. I haven't self-harmed myself for a while. This, And we were like, hey, that's great. You know, that's awesome, dude. So come back on the show, but not the whole show. Okay, just yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make a little segment. But the same thing with Lou. If you listen back to old shit, anything we've done, Lou is always jovial. Uh, ah, real laughter. You understand? Uh, as opposed to uh, this bullshit. Yeah, it's me, Lou. I'm fucking Eeyore. Go suck a donkey's dick. I don't care about nothing. Yeah, fought it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When's the next? He, he hasn't had a. I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating. It's true. It's true, dude. And then and he's just reading the chats, updating Joey on what everyone's saying to him in the chat. It's so weird. It is so he. It's sad. I Mr. smell hamburgers. Mister feels like he's the alpha everywhere. Completely Look! cucks. Did you see? Yes, I I heard, I saw, you used it's to have that as a child, and that's why you named yourself Jim. Look at his pecker, look at his pecker, look at his pecker. No, it's Jim Morrison, silly goose. Is it anatomically correct? You, for Lou, yeah. And Stevie Lou doll, yes, it's anatomically correct. Oh, shit. <laughs> Listen, gentlemen, I've got plenty of steam left. Or we can leave if you want. Um, I don't know if you were, if did, 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 there was something. We'll get to that in a minute. Damien, you mentioned something before the show, something very special and big, but I don't know if that's something you mentioned on the internet. If it is, then we got something to say. If So you just say, is that something you discussed? You know what I'm talking about? I'll send you a message if you don't. You, can you tell I need another cup of coffee? You mean it's my birthday? Ah, you piece of shit, you fat. You stupid fat That's right. piece of shit! Happy, happy you cocksucker motherfucker! The reason I said that, you asshole, was because I needed a second to do this. Oh, you cunt! Uh, uh, sort of thing. Almost there! I'm Using almost, I'm card. almost there! Two. You. Time travel. <sighs> Where's the sound? <laughs> I hear Where's it. the cocksucking sound? You do? I don't. I thought, I thought, oh, you spelled my name wrong, no. Ah! I did. <laughs> yeah. I, why can't I hear this? This is stupid. This is new, the aliens, I think. I feel like I've said that before. What has happened to my sound? Why do you hear it and I don't? That's weird. This is extra long. I wish I was in that car. That's like that guy in the acting reel I mentioned earlier. Oh my god, will this fucking end? It's this is the Was extra it always long. This long? Yeah. I don't think so. We probably just cut it. Nope, it was always just played straight off the thing. Yeah. I remember the first like first time I ever heard that or saw that on an FGTZ show. I thought it was you. 
because the shouting sounds just like you. I I thought it was something I got, you made. <laughs> this sounds like a joke, but it ain't. I got confused myself. <laughs> I really did. It freaked me out. I was like, what the fuck? Is that me? <laughs> Because like the other, the, it's your boo. That less so. That's less you. But the shouting, that's fucking like, is that AI? Like, what the fuck? Did they steal some voice samples? Goddamn robots. Uh, so to get what I was saying, because now it's really. Uh, so I've got to pee. So either I'm gonna go pee and we can carry on, or it's the end of the show and I'll just go pee. Um, that is your guys' decisions, but hurry up before it gets awkward and weird. You can take a piss. We'll figure it out. All right. You guys figure it out. Good. I, I didn't find a closing video in time. I mean, would have so been wait, a Indian it's man. It's not your birthday split. anymore. Not it's there. anymore. I mean, it, he in lost your it. time zone, it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is so weird. It's so like, for me, it hasn't been my birthday for an hour and 31 minutes. Yeah. Exactly. It's uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> well, I did wake I, up though, and I had seen that when I was scrolling through right before I passed back out again, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, I think I said something on Facebook." Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you said uh, birth and stuff. <laughs> birth <laughs> I and replied, "Yup." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! See, I get the opposite thing, where it's like I get like it's. You know, let's say it's it's Luke's birthday today. And I'm just like, well, I gotta wait like you know, twelve hours or whatever. Because if I say happy oh. birthday now, it's like it's my birthday yet, dickhead. That's true. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow, we really screwed that up. Now that we're all connected, we should we should just have one time. New York should be the time. Should, yeah, right. You know. Fuck this daylight savings bullshit. I fucking hate it. Or maybe Beijing. We should just go about what time it is in Beijing, because really, who's who's in control? Who's really in control here? Right? I mean, ultimately, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Let's go and even this, time. they probably set all this up because they knew, oh, another way for them to waste time. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, you lose hour. No, wait, you gain hour. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f- doesn't then we we make all your politicians take farmers away and then it don't matter. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, like, of course, that's the one time I start doing accents. Okay, <laughs> See, I was just doing. I I can't do it, but I was doing it because Luke is here, so I can do it. Yeah, yeah. He's well, the I'm, day with I it. Give it's everyone like a fun. pass. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy! Shut up, you YouTube. So, Leave us alone. I was gonna, I was gonna show this picture, but uh, it looks like, man, I, I got the, I got the wrong picture. Well, actually, I can show it here. Can I? Can I? And uh, no, never mind, never mind. It's but so. Well, I, I thought I saw somebody. Who's that? See that? Doesn't that look like someone we know? A bit, <laughs> a little bit. It looks like Stevie Lou before he did drugs. It really does. It looks like if, if he had grown up not doing the drugs and being a dickhead, he would have looked like that. Because right? you, you got this. And then this. This guy actually looks like he's got things going for him and he's handsome. But this, I mean, sunken eyes, given up, defeated look. Oh, it's terrible. But this the one. I, like- who's that guy? Chris Doherty from the. Uh, man. It almost looks like him, doesn't it? Um, it's actually from this gay TV show called First Dates that we kind of just leave on at night because it's, you know, it's one of those. You, you can fall asleep to it and it doesn't matter. But yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Here's the proof right here. See? You want to look like that or look like that? Well, I don't think I wouldn't want to look like either personally uh, but uh because i'm i'm goddamn handsome i mean <laughs> that second picture and if my internet loads it's gonna say it looks like the singer of meshuggah with a smile on his face <laughs> so. he does look a little bit like dot chris daughtry dot dot daughtry it looks like chris daughtry or something <laughs> god damn it <laughs> Whatever happened to all those cover artists? 
<laughs> yeah, instead of going, <laughs> he's actually smiling. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the vocals from my sugar. <laughs> that's what happens when you take the fent from Lou. Anyway, he's looking like, ah, leaning over in the street. Mm. <laughs> You Has think anyone answered V's question, how can I make one of these birthday videos? Well, you I don't know. Google that's, that's happy birthday name. Like, person's name. And a bunch of different styles of video will pop up. Um, but they're not always spelled right. And I, I, I'm wondering, did someone make those in commission and then they just posted them? You know, people like, hey, I have this person, and they changed it, and cha and then eventually they just posted them no, all. I think it's just for clicks and views. Mm -hmm. Which it works, and anything like that works, which sucks. Um, you do wonder, like, is the guy that made those, like, does he make money off them somehow? Well, through the monetization just, of the YouTube, right? Really stunned, and he's just, just made those, and they're out there now. Because if people share it to their friend's Facebook and 15 people click on it, then that's 15 ads that run. So uh, everybody, the amount of birthdays every day, you know, there's 30 Damians that had a birthday today probably. Just Damians. Oh, let's, let's diminish it even more. First, I had my name spelled wrong. Now there's thirty Damians. Well, not double A Damians. See, so there's only one of those. There's, there's no double A. <laughs> no, I mean an A instead of an E. You know. Anyway, it was Damian's birthday today. <laughs> That's like, uh, why does uh, I guess the name Aaron needs a double A, right? Or it'd be Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, uh, Aaron. Yeah. I was. Yeah, I've never seen this spelt with just a single A. I don't know if that's a thing because there's certain names that are spelt like like mine spelled differently, but I've never seen Aaron spelled with a single A. Oh, cocksucker! I had my mic on this whole time. Uh -huh. you didn't hear an echo. Nah. Only slightly. I I will say you do have the cooler spelling of the Damien name. But I'm still devilish. <laughs> See, I was thinking that with, guy. With um, e, oh, I'm sorry. I was on mute. With, no, with I didn't e. mean to interrupt you. I don't want to. Don't let me interrupt you. No, with the ahead. E, it looks more like a poor person's name. <laughs> <laughs> the A makes it royal. <laughs> royal I day. have the fancy version. It's me, Damian. With the double A, uh, well, Aaron. So that dude, <clears throat> Aaron Imholt from Steel Toe, I think, you know, it really he's he's pissed off initially because he is, he likes Nazis, but he's named Aaron. Like, that's the Jewiest name you could have, right? That's straight from the Bible. So I, there must be like a weird self-hate thing going on there that he just can't, con you know, ah, he wants to kill himself so maybe that's why he likes the humiliation of going on a show and sucking in front of everybody and then trying to beg for a hundred and thirty five dollars at the end of the show hmm yeah, i think i just well, well, I, I took a turn i didn't expect <laughs> <laughs> i think i just figured him out wow hey clip that one cool <laughs> clip Next. it you cunt <laughs> Who else are we going to break down? Oh, actually, okay, so we're talking about that guy Joey C a little bit earlier. Is it because of his... Hey, oh, it's if... Joey C. Look at my oh, tits. Oh, Jesus. Because Oof, he's... On. You hey, my everyone, Joey tits. C's on the show. <laughs> Hi, Joey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm doing real good today. Thanks for having me on the show, Luke and Damien. <laughs> My nips look like a pepperoni. Oh, my God. Hey, pepperoni <laughs> is delicious. I used to put pepperoni on pizza back in the pizza cafeteria in the prison I went to. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. That's about, that's every show. <laughs> but then my wife, because, you know, she's a whore, 
she divorced hey, me. Hey, and then, hey, uh, oh, hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. Tell my wife <laughs> like that, you, you son of a bitch, cocksucker. I'll come to your house and I will fuck you, you <laughs> cocksucker. My wife is no whore. She's a good woman. She's an alpha female. I don't fuck no whores. She didn't even want to fuck me. She wouldn't even take my money. My wife was my drug dealer, you stupid asshole. She wasn't my whore. <laughs> and then Very I ain't going to fuck you neither because I ain't no fanook. But you'll see hey, what I'm saying. You me a fanook. I'm the one who calls you the fanook, you fanook. I don't even care. I, I you want to take me <laughs> off the internet? I don't care. You look call me that, I'm going to dox you. Uh, I was told yeah, to let go 30 seconds ago. You better You're respect amazing. my family. Don't you ever talk about my dead daughter. Only I talk about my dead daughter. You understand? I'm going to do it all the time. But don't you ever mention my dead daughter. Well, who wasn't even really my daughter. Can we, can, can I don't we know the talk story. About, I'm just a dick. Can we talk about the daughter that stabbed you and your wife? The, the other Which daughter? Which one is that? I'm just a tit. I don't fucking watch this stuff. I only know a little bit. Uh, or who OD'd and uh, talked about it on Facebook oh, and how yeah, you don't support one. her She's anymore. She's a whore. That's that okay. One. You can talk about her. She's a filthy oh. whore. Heather, I think, is her name. Sorry. Is that the I, dead one or no? Just, no? No, no, no. Yeah, 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 She's a whore. Fuck that whore. That's a whore. But the, don't you, the other one, she's a little angel. A little fentanyl angel. <laughs> That's what I have tattooed on my leg. Fentanyl my angel. My sweet forever. little fentanyl angel. <laughs> oh, is all it, right, are you done with me now? I'm getting no, real I uncomfortable know. over here with all this talk about <laughs> my Mr. dead Joey. daughter's sweet titties. I don't Mr. know. C I feel like they're giggling enough. Mr. C, Mr. C. Wait, are you really? Wait, wait was my I'm... dead daughter of legal age? <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure. So. I think so. I think she okay. was out Fenton and Horan, so my yeah, over well, eighteen year old dead really. daughter had sweet titties. What do you what do you My own this is a bad taste. Even you, for me. Do you, do you, do you see? It leaves a bad taste in your mouth, like my who drug dealer wife's cunt. <laughs> Because she uses it to transport stuff. She sticks it all in there, and it leaks a little, so it tastes good. My of, wife is a medicine. good woman. She once shoved 37 bags of fentanyl in a gun hole. Your, your mother can't shove more than 12 bags of fentanyl in a gun hole. My wife, does she put 37 bags of fentanyl in a gun hole? Can we get that in a story? row. Whoa. This is starting to hurt. And then when the black guy who sleeps on our floor banged it later, we figured out it was actually 38. <laughs> oh, oh, I ain't never let no eggplants fuck my wife. Oh, I'm okay. I got to go now. All right, everyone. See you later. I got I got like 12 shows to do, and they're oh, yeah. very important. Take your blood pressure medicine, please. Don't you tell me what to do, you cocksucker. I'm the boss of me. Get out oh, of here. Please don't, though. Yeah. Oh, but Joey. Oh, see, I wanted to ask him if it was, if it was more elder abuse or mentally handicapped abuse, what they put Joey C through, uh, bringing him up on abuse, Julie's abuse, show. You I'll put you through abuse into your mental and handicap, you cocksucker. Don't you ever say that Joey C is an abuser. No, I no, you're being abused. abused. No, no, All you're the women. victim. You're complete victim of life and circumstance and everything. I am a you... victim. My yes. daughter took those drugs. My, mm -hmm. uh, no, my wife did not give them to her. And nothing nope. to do with our connections. None of that. The other daughter stabbed her because she's a dumb whore. Had nothing to do with anything. All right? <laughs> Just leave it. Leave, leave me alone. And I think you have like three other kids too, or something. I think he has like six kids. Um, well, hey guys, I'm back. What kind I was of just, idiot has? I was over just masturbating with my left hand, and my arm really hurts. I swear to God, it hurts so bad right now. What are you saying, Luke? Like, what kind of idiot would have over two or three children? That's just insane, stupid. A like, dumb idiot who wants a wife with a blown out pussy hole.
<laughs> as another man and another man uh who likes to lay with other men would you uh what's your thoughts on on uh polygamy sister wives sister wives i want i want like eight wives <laughs> so like a big love scenario absolutely that well, would be lovely. Do you have so many different women to do dishes? All these different food flavors. Um, you look the coolest when you go out. Uh, I mean, just saying, you got a bunch of sexy ladies. You know, ain't well, going to marry no uggos. With how the ladies are today, they're not real ladies, so you need about eight of them to get all the shit done. One can actually cook. One can actually clean. One can actually give a blowjob good. One can, so you got to... And, it's and not, you don't blow out their vaginas by making lots of babies either because you spread it out. Hmm. And so do they. Oh, you know I'm saying... Oh, see, the problem with all that, like in the Middle East, the only problem is having s kids with so many different women. And then Did you, I, you I feel like this to Middle East. Well, it, this is, is what I heard from your lips. That's what they do in the Middle East. They that's they have a lot of wives, right? They have a harem and then they have all these different kids. But yeah, once now you've had a couple, you stoner. Everyone's cousins of place. everyone. So now. It's hard. Is it hard to trace who is actually whose cousin? And eventually, you're just well. Isn't there that country third or fourth cousins? Iceland or some one of these Norwegian or whatever one of these ultra white countries. I don't know where I heard this recently. Might have been on one of our shows um, where they have to sign up to a registry. Uh, they they check when they go to date. Oh. They go to a, a government website that says whether or not they're related somehow. If you want to keep it pure, then that's what you have to do to not get tarred, retardant. <laughs> Am I deep dicking my third cousin? Dot com. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Let's let's do this. Wow, this I mean, got I, way I more popular than we expected. This website blew up. Why <laughs> my deep dicking? Wow. <laughs> Third cousins are popular. No, it's fifth cousin. All right, let's let's fucking let's chess more d'oeuvres. And well, I mean, fifth cousins, you're barely cousins anymore. It's the third cousins where you have a problem. I don't know why anybody wants to fuck their third cousin. You, you, everyone knows you're just supposed to jerk off to them. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's just heavy petting. That's that's the farthest you can go. Obviously, I joke. I only had male cousins. So? And he joked this off is not way. true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I said third cousins. I meant first cousins. Whoops. My, my shit's falling. I ruined, my, I ruined the joke. Oh, shut it down. That's Jokes? It. What are those? Oh, no. Hey, speaking of underwear, uh... Okay, time for another prank call. Ring, 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 you answer? <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello? Wait, how am I supposed to do this one? Hello, am I calling in to the um uh that Matt Berry Toast Show? You sure are. How well, are you doing what? today? Oh, I really should have left you more time to talk as Matt Berry, considering I set that up, huh? Maybe you should have. But fuck uh, it, continue. <laughs> I have a. I, I invented a time traveling toaster. Oh, did you? I did. Has it got my name on it? Well, kinda uh, toaster. But there's actually, believe it or not, a toast problem. A with toast my time. problem. Yeah. Do I have you a mean toast that I can't get a job? Nope. I mean that every time you try to travel through time, uh, you end up in a world ruled by bread. It's not really a toast problem. It's a bread problem. It doesn't toast. It doesn't toast your bread. It just takes you to some world where the baguettes are bosses and sourdoughs are sidekicks. Now, I need to know, do you have any experience with bread or can you lend some butter for diplomacy? I'm adding this one. I really, I shut up. I'm making this one up. I really need your help. There's too many puns, and I'm thinking this <laughs> might be a prank call. 
<laughs> all right, all right. I confess, it's all a lie. I mean, lie. Yeah. But I, but I, but I, but I hope I, I hope you loaf the call. <laughs> Hate to pump your I nickel. I hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> This is I'm already dead inside. <laughs> hmm. I'm not showing V's comment. It's about his pornography preferences. Whoop. Um. A ring, a, a, a ring, a ling, a ling. What'd you say there, Toast? You got another word? We can call I'm the Toast good. Show again. <laughs> Oh, no, good. that last one was dwarfed. Ring a ling. Uh, well, why don't we call the Boyd Show, the Boyd Crowder Show next? A ring a ling a ding, baby. A ring a ling a ding dong. A ring a ling a ding. That's that's your phone, you hip dude. A ring a ling a ding dong. Yeah, a ring a ling a ding ding. A ring a ling a do. A ring a ling a ding. Dong. Boyd, would you answer the phone, please? Ring a ling a do. <laughs> I didn't realize you were talking to me. I thought you were talking about this hip dude I could see below me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought he seemed more like the type. No, nah, Boyd. I, I ain't Boyd. It's Dewey Crow. It ain't, I ain't Boyd. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Dewey Crow. You dumb son of a bitch. Oh, we got someone on the line. <laughs> oh, yes. Line. I, hello. Let me know like, what you want me to do, boy. Okay. Stay right here. Hello, Dewey Crow. This is the Boyd Crowder and Dewey Crow show. I'm very serious. You this play, is my serious Baby voice. Bible no, oh, well. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call Baby Billy's Bible Bonkers. I was looking for the Boyd Crowder and Dewey. Well, Dewey who show? Crow, Crow, damn it, Crow. Dewey Crow, God Dewey Crow. damn it, you don't know who I am still after all this time. I can't believe it. I just want to be, I just want things to go back the way they were, Boyd. I, I, come on. I understand he's a dipshit, but you still remember his name. <laughs> well, I have a very serious uh, problem that I'm calling about. Um, I believe all of my because underwear you is. Your butthole. No, what, what about my butthole? I was wondering if you got some Amulex in it. Trying to blow it out a little bit. Never mind. Stick, What's a, question? stick a stick of dynamite in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I believe. My- I, be- I believe my underwear is plotting against me. You see, every morning uh, a different pair goes missing, only to reappear in <laughs> odd butthole. places. No, not my butthole, like the fridge or your mailbox. Would you got a pair of buttholes? I mean, your <laughs> balls. You got a pair of those. I got a, a pair of buttholes at that trailer with those hoes. I can't wait to get back. We need some money, boy. Je- God, listen, hosts of this program, I just need to ask if you are experienced in any underwear uprisings or are you a part of this conspiracy? Acting real. <laughs> I don't like stealing people's underwear, especially men's. I don't know. It's why- <laughs> I don't know nothing about underwear. I'm Where's sorry, your- Mr. Crow? Your host done that. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker, you don't kill me. <laughs> I, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to go along with whatever it was you was calling in with. <laughs> you don't fuck me. <laughs> All right, guys, I didn't mean for this to happen. I was like, fuck that hole. No, I, I just have to admit this now, and I'm going to go verbatim with this. I was just trying to brief you on the situation, and I hope you found it underwearingly funny. Well, you really do like to think outside the boxer. Acting real. Oh, he said outside the... You son of a bitch. (laughs) Ah, There's only one more, but who would we call? Who would we call for this third, fifth, last... Call. You should call Chrissy Mayer. I don't, oh, is that possible? Uh, okay. Here you go. I will send you the call in oh. the Telegram. So whoever does it does. You'll both have it. There it is. It's there. And uh, burb. Burb. Oh, great. He's just 
He's he's abandoning us. I can't believe it. You don't abandon the family. It's all about the family that we've built. Cause you know, lose you gotta like ring my the phone. Don't forget my third cousin that I love. <laughs> I want to put my dick in his gap to kind of that creepy fucking shit. You know, these fucking weirdos get into. Ring, ring. Ring. Oh, oh, hi. Ring, ring. Hi, hi, caller. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, caller. I'm already answering. Oh, hi. You're calling cunt cast with Chrissy and Keanu. How can we help you? Oh. Uh, Crunt cast, yeah, yeah. G girls. I, I mean, I, I love you guys, and I, I listen all the time, and I just wanted to. Um, uh, Aren't we sexy? I hate to call you like this. <laughs> it, both probably use shower, but sorry. It's but I um, think it's been a mix shower up. Shower together, you know what to be like. Sure. That is that what we're doing? I, I mean, before I tell you what I'm going to tell you, uh -huh. yeah, you you muff you muffin. Please shower. Delay. You muffin delay. <laughs> I'm, I'm muffin delay. Cool. I th speaking of that, wow, are you that was a are joke you psychic? About my cunt. Cause it's a, it looks like a stinky cranberry muffin. Is that, is that yeah? Right? The cream cheese has gone oh my God. bad. Omg, everybody! Guess what? We have an exclusive on Cuntcast. Oh my cool. What's this? Keanu's, uh, Coked out uh -oh. weirdo boyfriend Gino's here. Hey, coked hey. out Gino weirdo boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. Wacky, wow. wacky, everyone. <laughs> wacky, wacky, everyone. Waka, I'm waka. You can't see the bottom half of me, but it's keyed out in the green screen. Because I'm a fucking <laughs> idiot. Mm, I, I can't talk well with Aaron. Ah! Ah! Mm, I think so what are you sexy we have a problem. About? Oh my god, Gino, we have callers! <laughs> I think we switched muffins. The last time I was there in studio, I must have grabbed the wrong muffins. And what? I have your muffin, you have mine. Oh my god, like, what are and you talking about? Like, my dad sucked a dick once. Well, this has a kind of a dick on it. It's a unicorn blueberry flavor muffin with a nice uh, mm -hmm. peppermint rod sticking out of it. Oh my god, that... I love unicorns! Ooh, sprinkles. Do you like peppermint rod too? Mm -hmm. you, you're very rare, like one. They, only once in a while do we have a talent so rare, Uni, Uni Chrissy, because you also look like a, you know. An animal that has four legs and a long face. Unicrissy. Hi. And Peter? What? I'm sorry. You, like, weren't making any sense. I, like, didn't even but get what you But the problem is, saying. this unicorn blueberry muffin, if you like, eat it, what? you're going to start hallucinating. And I just don't want to make sure... Because you're talking to like an inanimate objects. Uh -huh. you're, you, you think that you're oh on God. a hit show. You think she that is, your your husband isn't gay? Yes, it's all please. these things. She is so empowered, my Kiki. Oh my God, she has her boyfriend is going down on her. This does her legs get very greasy after he comes up? Because you know, she doesn't a, have legs. He's a. <laughs> <laughs> Is the call over yet? <laughs> did her did her legs break off? <laughs> All right. Well, I was just trying to add a little bit of unicorn sparkle to your morning. Oh my god! I wasn't I trying to unicorns. muffin I around. I didn't oh want to god. muff around well, with okay. your Thanks show or anything. I'm, I'm really uh, sorry. You were a great call. Please. Oh my god! Would you shut up, caller? I'm talking. I just, Thanks I for just calling. Love it you was so a much. great show. Bye. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> wow. Is somebody eating a clam chowder in here? It smells like milk and dirty cunt. What's going on? <clears throat> yeah, great. Now I want another coffee. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, now I want a bowl of New England clam chowder. 
I may be. Uh, I, I should just do my Chrissy. I, I mean, excuse me. This should just be for now on. You know, like. Oh my god. Who knows? Um, maybe it will bring the viewers. Sure, whatever, whatever is clever, whatever brings. You know, uh, uh, I'm. Uh, this may be um, blasphemy what I'm saying because I do live in New England, but I prefer Manhattan clam chowder. Um, I would have called you a coked up R word, uh, but I quite enjoy a New England. Didn't we talk about this at Sullivan's when we first met? Maybe. Maybe. I do it's believe we had a clam chowder conversation. <laughs> that's this how boring we actually are. Conversation. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens behind the scenes. You people don't understand. I mean, you can clearly get how boring Damien is, but <laughs> we're, the rest of us are just as yeah. boring as Damien. I'm getting a fucking dumb look by a dummy <laughs> no who should way. go out of this room. What is it? There's no way you're as boring as me. No, I swear to God. Hey, dummy. Really boring, right? What were you looking at me for? Now she's just ignoring no me. No way, man. I am the most boring. She got her here. dumb headphones this, in. She heard none gonna of have this. To, we're going to have to have a bore off. But none of us could be more boring than Lou and Kai. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I was, I was like one click away. I was pulling up their show when you said bore off. I was going <laughs> to be like this and play some of that. I win. Oh, you're going to do a random drop somewhere and just like see where, what, what's happening with their world? Are they talking no. about weather? No, I mean, I was just going to... Sure, you could call it a random drop. I mean, any it's going to be the same exact thing no matter where you fucking tune into their stupid-ass shows. And we are talking about things because we don't know how to use our regular voices. Did you put it on already? I just tuned in at a random (laughs) interval, and he mentioned pucus. So now I guess we have to play it. Oh, no. Can I call in your show and I tell them no and then my phone rings? <laughs> like, how awesome. <laughs> Who, who's that? Oh, the the pucus, the, the ducus is of the bind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, the what? ones who go after the women and children, they want you to be civil with them. I see. <laughs> they're thirsty. Uh, hold on, let's take it back so we can understand what they're what? talking about. Maybe that just gives it away. Maybe I should get you did of, something to them. Bond. Clearly, but you know this isn't going to work now. I said I wanted to call into on yesterday the show, and uh, we always enjoy Mr. Big Shot gracing us with his presence. It's a good this fucking clown. Austin's and, girl, no, you cannot call in our show. Stop asking. And he's learning his game. He's 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 getting better all the time, and it's fun. It's fun to be on with Mr. Big Shot. How <sighs> funny! Can I call in your show and I tell him no, and then my phone rings. <laughs> Like how awesome! <laughs> Who, who's that? Oh, the the pucus, the the ducus is of the bind. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Uh, so the bind, the pucus is of the bind. So the band, the bind. You and your bandmates are calling in the moo and bye show. That's what's what. Yeah, his phone you're... rang. <laughs> I yeah, don't have Lou's <laughs> number. I mean, unless. <laughs> Maybe on. <laughs> you, you, you are you die still dying on Telegram possibly, mm-hmm. but I, I'm pretty much. I think I deleted him as a friend on there, so I don't even think I have the contact anymore. But well, he mentioned earlier in the show that I had given you his number. Oh, I see. That's all oh, right. Oh, and right. I gave which, everyone Kai's number apparently. Which I want, yeah. you stupid piece of shit, Damien. With which I Kai is make, he makes these claims about oh well, gave, well, on their show. That's only do his lie, but he made these yeah. claims about Damien having his number and that he, uh, he must have given it to me because now I was calling him during the show again, complete and total fabrication. I want. Kai Brancaccio's phone number. I haven't looked hard enough. I haven't researched deep enough into him or Hack Ride or any of these other silly gooses. Um, 
but I will soon, you cocksuckers. So go ahead and keep making literal death threats against us, Kyle Bacraccio. I mean, you're going under a fake ass name claiming, oh, you're talking about the wife. While actually, like, okay, people wonder what the game of these people are. It's exactly that. For Kai to be making these nasty little death oh. threats as a fake person and then to get Lou or Mr. Big Shot, the real, the schmucks at this dinner table, to get them to react like they're, you know what I'm saying? To get them to go along. They're goading them. Well, it's a it, sad. And Kai's one of those people who will do, will do a bunch of stupid things. And then once someone like his wife being in the chats, commenting on our mental health and what she thinks is wrong with us, and then him bringing it to the show, the fact that she's watching the shows and telling Kai when we mention her, like she's in it. That's that. If that's not being in, no shit. She's more shit. in it than someone like Lou. Lou is an even that. Out her blown out clam chowder dripping cunt was never mentioned would have never been mentioned until kyle used her as a tool in his little war against us quote no note the quotes girls and like i haven't thought about this since i first saw the clip where he mentioned that i sent his number to people apparently and that he gave it to me I'm still not sure what the fuck he was trying to do with that. Was it just like, no, oh, you can't trust this Damien guy? Like, what the yes, fuck was the to goal? To disparage about? you, to pull you. He's been, look, listen, he's been listening to these shows for quite some time now. He was commenting on, on uh, Boyd and Friends like six months ago. You know, he's been, oh, yeah. he, he likes Pat Dixon. He, I think, I think he came from the censored TV crowd. He seems to be a very, um, political driven kind of person because any t that's what's hilarious wait until they all have a political conversation because those always went very hilarious very funny you know there is a conspiracy theory wow a fun one i made this about brandon in the past as well because oh, yeah. at the time we were perceived as gino's boys um and you had these characters like Derek, like Brandon, coming from Pat Dixon's camp and pulling little tactics, playing little games, often with, with uh, Brandon tipping his hat, wearing the New York City Crime Report shirt. So now you say this guy comes from here. And then that does kind of make it funny because I have alluded to how funny it is, how what's his name, Kai, keeps saying uh oh look at their look at look at when he's on men are talking look at their silent they're not saying it you guys but it's in between the words you can tell i'm a master of unspoken gestures yeah that's a real person saying real oh words God. come on when you repeat it it sounds so cartoonish and ridiculous like you look yeah, like a fool for repeating it definitely a guy who can read a room for sure <laughs> sure but then it's like on the same note and yep here's the reveal you know a certain person messages me right afterwards who he's obsessively tagging and is like oh my god dude your trolls are asinine and then we chat for two days about first you know uh, a whole wall of making fun of uh um kai and his absurd troll attempts he said it took two, took two fucking seconds for him to look into kai and realize the guy's a delusional psychopath uh with, with i forget the exact words but um your heroes, your heroes don't heroes like don't you like, uh, they no, hate you but here's my conspiracy theory maybe it is all a trick maybe mr pat dixon really is behind all of this <laughs> and this is no, his grand no. revenge against old gary bacane mm. um but i think he knows by now that i ain't no friend of those compound cucks i think you're sniffing in the right area but maybe this is the, they have formed Basically, well, I'm sniffing up my own ass, silly. There's no, I don't believe that theory I just made. I'm just throwing some fun out there. But go ahead. I'm I thinking, totally believe it. So let's pretend. No, as 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 you're saying That's this, I'm realizing. 
if these people come from censored, they're based. They've basically formed like an internet proud boy organization where they go around trying to shake things up here and there, and trying to push possibly their political agendas and trying to find like-minded people to go and shake things up other places. Hey, you know, that could be, but they're fucking with the wrong one, son. According to the SPLC, I created both. Well, according to them, I created, well, according to them, I created both Proud Boys and Antifa. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but, um, um, Does um, not sound familiar, but. And, and, and not just yeah, according yeah, to them, but the Antifa one, according to Antifa as well. That's, but I don't, I, that's a whole other story that I'm sure I've never told before and that nobody would be interested in. You know, I'm sure, like, why would anybody, you know, you know, like, imagine I went on a politically, uh, themed freedom of speech, anti censorship network, and like I had all of these stories, um, these detailed stories of the inner workings of our system and and uh imagine going there and uh well you know the jews was about the the, the best you could get of the night but but yeah them boys is fucking with the wrong ones because if gavin mckinnis is the pappy of the proud boys i'm the great grandpappy of the proud boys according to the southern poverty law center not just in 2002 but as recent as charlottesville north carolina as recent as the george floyd riots and as recent as january 6th the Southern Poverty Law Center has tied me, my singular action, to, because they're backing up their claim all the way back in 2002, how I made a 150% increase in hate groups uh, in the one month after the Battle of York. There you go, fuck targets. Well, there. there they're correct. You want to dox? Do some research, you stupid fucktards, and you'll understand. See, you're allowed to say that word. I think the tard part makes it not okay to say a fucktard, but YouTube is making you say different words. But there you go, you little idiot birds. You can fucking get all you need to know. And, by the way, if you do your little research just off of Battle of York, you'll also find out everything I say about Roswell, or at least my grandfather being there, is 100% true. And about him being a part of William Cooper's brigade and all that, you'll see that. It's all public record. And it all begins with the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Battle of York. You stupid fucks. I've given you this all along. Docs away clowns. Because the moment you do that, you verify it. That's the point of this game, stupid. It's the point of this whole game. Make me win. It's just a little fun puzzle I put out there. Because that, and again, that goes back to, I'm sorry, Luke, you were about to say something. But it goes back to something I said earlier in this show, this broadcast, uh, about I'm going to start releasing Stone and I from 2016 and the beginning of this game and the exact point that was made that was then proven with the compound media on the grander stage. Don't matter. It's all bullshit. This whole world is fucking bullshit. It's just a bunch of shit stirring trolls, goblins, cunts, and ghouls. That's it. That's it. It's a sad, sick place in which we exist, period. I was going to say that I completely agree with the Southern Poverty Law Center because you tend to, for some reason, <clears throat> when you start to dabble, like a dabble snorian, in people's lives and in people's shows and things, it does create a bit of a hate group. Like the combination I guess of all i do is create hate groups <laughs> jesus <Steve> christ <laughs> and stevie and and derek and then like I'm the master of piss goblin stop a story Lou and wanted on. to be a part of that a little bit but then derek realized he kind of hates him anyway so it didn't really happen that way but and then kai and lou and joey and these little hate groups that combine together to try to get you it's so weird. 
it, it's it's like and to the first person who fully gets me and figures out the game i will send you a complete catalog of um of of a jim grindle works plus a whole gift bag so you dox me and then you dox yourself to me and then i will send you a gift bag once i know you've uncovered the secrets and that you know every word i've ever said on these programs is true i'm sorry luke carry on no, just no. being a piss goblin today. Yeah, you're you're being a grundle. You're being a a, a grouchy grundle. That's what you. One are. of the funniest moments in the last wow, too many years since 2016. I'm including everything before you guys even got here. One of the funniest moments is Derek going public, quote unquote. I mean, I think he said it on like in hot water, Spain on his show for a while. I know what Grindle means. I Googled it. Yeah, fuck face. Yeah. Like, yeah. you get it? That's the point. Everything that I do is so, you can just go quick, quick, and scratch right through the surface, but you won't because you're a piece of shit. Because all you want to do is spout nonsense. And I'm talking from the peons like a Kyle Bercacchio. Up until the kings of this whole universe, Gino and uh, Kevin Brennan and all of these clowns, these clowns. It's just a clown show. Send in the clowns. That's all it is. Come on. It's a story told over and over throughout history. You fucking minstrels. You're all a part of Jim Grindle's whack pack. Unless Bam. you're not. You either get it or you don't because you know what? But fuckers, Jim Grindle takes no prisoners. That's right. <laughs> only adver- oh, only only allies. That's it. No prisoners. The rest of you are whack pack. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to, to, to Can answer you smell this, what the Grindle's cooking. Is Can Jim you Grindle smell what goblin? the Grindle's pissing? Sorry. No, wait. Can you smell <laughs> what the goblin's pissing? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, Jim Grindle is a piss goblin. We are the piss goblins over here. Whenever that's mentioned, it's it's us. It's uh, and that's how Kai will say our names without saying our names. Oh, that th- say that account. Name, oh, no, say I don't even have. Crazy. I'm I'm extremely good at what I do. <laughs> I didn't like, even have the numbers, but I give them to everybody. Just like Stevie Lou. You're a mastermind behind this. Yeah. (laughs) Just like Stevie Lou, who thinks that that we're the only people that hate him. him. (laughs) We bring (laughs) attention to you so that other people people will hate you. Just like you, Kai. Just like you, Kai. See, it's See, not us it's all not the time. Us in all the these, time I, in these, I don't have time, I, I, to, I don't make have time to make of thousands of counts. counts to go and troll you all day. I'm barely even up when you're like doing your show. I don't give. A I'm shit. too busy leaving my babies in the tub. Yeah, I I got things to get ready. You know, I don't have chickens to feed, but I got actual people to feed. Cause and I'm working either dick. working or I'm jerking. I mean, now <laughs> time for shit, son. So yes, the piss goblins are a cumulative uh, co- a combination of <laughs> cumulative gang of all of us. Even Stone is a piss goblin. I'm not sure that oh, Charles is in that though. Stone is the pissiest of piss goblins out there. <laughs> and while listen, the, the Charles is a piss goblin because I think piss goblin is a lovely term. I think it's adorable. It's it's adorable. It's perfect. And Charles, as I said uh, on uh, one of the shows, uh, summed him up as the adorable curmudgeon surrounded by a bunch of pieces of shit. That that's we're all supposed to be adorable pieces of shit. You get it? Because we all kind of play into the piece of shit thing, but we're actually you know nice people who just are normal. And this is all a cartoon, but um, fucking people just can't understand it. These people are real in the real world. Some people people like like therapy. therapy. Some people like like raping others. Sure. And then the topic of rape. (laughs) Let me just clarify. There's literally. (laughs) Let's do this here. Look, I'm putting myself down here for a moment or even let me put myself up top. 
Now oh, we have three I levels. Yeah, bottom boy. We have three <laughs> levels here of cartoon, but all three are cartoons. Damien, the most real character here, who mostly brings his real self. However, he doesn't say things that are unintentionally funny. Sometimes he unintentionally says things that are not funny, but his intent is to <laughs> deliver a joke. <laughs> His intent is to deliver a joke. So when he's doing that, he is performing. It is different than when you were out for your birthday, birthday boy, with your family and your friends. Did you sit there acting like this, like you do on this show? Did you sit there timing your jokes or did you just have a natural flowing conversation? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I said either or an or. Uh, yes, it was a natural flow of conversation. Right, as I'm sure it were. Because um, unless you're in that specific environment, you're not performing that way. So that's Damien's level of performance, the closest to real. And then you have the level up of him is you have Luke, who uh, he, he doesn't act completely like this i'm sure in his normal life like hunched over and and like he's about to <laughs> fly and get somebody <laughs> um, i'm sure that's not the real <laughs> yeah okay be sure about that uh. but the point is r real quick the it well that actually goes to the point while Damien, it's all real, but then there's a slight exaggeration for the performance. With Luke, it's all real, but a larger exaggeration slightly for the performance. With yeah, me, I mean, it's, if it's I was real me, oh, I'd be so depressed. Oh, boring yeah, and dumb ooh. and annoying. Uh, be Derek. Uh, all, all artists are like mental patients, so you don't want the real people. They're fractured, fragile. <laughs> but um yeah, see we said it about emotional. ourselves so it's okay um uh the and then me which is again all Fakety it's fake. real it's real like but exaggerated maybe not all the opinions are completely real sometimes they're um ex an exaggerated opinion or an extreme opinion sometimes they're made to elicit a certain reaction i don't know sometimes it's just gobbledygook coming out of my mouth because with me it's 100 percent about performance real comes secondary i only use my real self to fuel you know what i'm saying the the, the performance itself to inform the performance i basically use myself like a google or something um so yeah, in all of this, I don't care if you're even Jake Hudson, once you press the button on the camera, you're detaching yourself at least a level from your real self, but not Lou, not Lou. You're right. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> um, yeah, but even Jake will have like, he'll turn it on. Well, sort of. Jake's weird where he'll start a stream and then he'll be like, he will be singing and doing all this weird stuff, but he doesn't really perk up until someone pops in on the show with him, you know, but there is a change. There's a marked change of like, oh, now we're doing a show. But you're right. Lou right. is just. And when the cat sticks up their butt to show their butthole and spray out their little fragrances. <laughs> <laughs> when they, when they're doing it they're performing and presenting oh, to yes. attract other cats to put it in their cat butt and that is what jake hudson's doing he's sitting there -dee -doo -dee -doo, look at my cat butt also lou does the same thing starts out with his little single because he's just putting up his little kitty butt kitty cat be clear putting his butt up in the air um <laughs> attracting in the others and then they perk up and they perform when the others are there to keep them there they bounce around like a little kitty cat meow 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 <clears throat> <clears throat> this is getting uncomfortable it is, it is. <laughs> Lou fine. presenting his butt I'm not sure he can bend over like that it's like it's a whole mess he just looks like a mountain of uh anyway <laughs> now we're talking about pussy bud. <laughs> 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 
rear pussy. <laughs> Right. Uh, if Dabble Storian is still oh. there, I think my my support animal, Luca the Bind, should come along for this exclusive interview. Support uh, <laughs> I miss conscience. I have to kind of come yeah, along. Yeah, I think I think you whoa, need a little. Whoa, whoa. I need a little tether. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what are you doing to these people? <laughs> I say that I just read your uh, message. If you're still there, dabble. St- oh, come on, V. Oh, come great. on, don't rub it in. So it's gonna be like uh, you know doing Sennheiser's show again, huh? You're gonna be all mad at me. Huh? Where you're gonna? You, well, you were you were just killing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Did he invite you back the other night? Because I've already been invited back since then. So no. Just saying. No. Sadly, I went to bed because I'm an old fucking loser. Oh, he's hoping your beard grew a little more. So. Oh, it's growing. I ain't got the time to shave. I'm t- too busy with work and then creative endeavors. I'm actually, uh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm already getting a, a, a paid vacation. The woman and I. So that's mm-hmm. two pays and no work for a whole week. And then the week prior, I only have two days of work. So I have nothing now but time to resume and consume this creative oh, project. Get, I can't talk to you right now. Is it Lou? No. That was just one of the only people who have my phone number is all. You better start wearing diapers. I'm not going to poo in my pants, V. Don't be a fucking idiot. Uh, Let's get rid of these. Although I do like us being real small. I like that a lot. I don't like looking at myself. Never been a fan of mirrors. Often because I stare into them for way too long. You ever get high with your friends? Have you ever gone out to fuck some chicks uh, when you're a youth and you're on, well, you probably wouldn't have, Luke, you might know, old people will know the AOL chat rooms. Boy, was it glorious. God so fun. damned rapists and pedophiles and monsters ruined what could have been a good thing for human beings, I guess. Because when I was young, we were able to find like all the people around us, all the chicks who were hanging out and were bored. We no longer had to scrape up gas money, go to all the different convenience stores and this and that. Uh, we, all we had to do was type bippity boppity who's, who, who wants to fuck. And you'd find chicks that were like, yeah, I'm over here next town over. Let's party. You got some weed. Let's smoke. And then you're over there at Chick's houses. And one of these occasions, we were so fucking high. And I remember we were like, I think we were looking for like Birch Street. We were so lost. And we were like, we couldn't find the street. And it was like, oh, hey, every street is named after a president. And then now every street is named after a different state. I'm like, maybe if we go in another direction, we're going to start finding tree names. And then we did. And eventually we get there after this stupid trek. And then we're so high that the girls just sat there on the couch while me and my friend Sarkis, who I've mentioned disparagingly here before many times, uh, were just staring in the mirror, primping ourselves while they were literally on a couch behind us watching something on TV. Um, and uh, we were just staring there like this. Like he kept moving his glasses. And I kept going like this. Easily two hours. Easily. Eventually, by the way, we were told we had to leave because the woman whose child they were babysitting was coming home. We had a skabooch. Yeah. They did smoke our pot, though. We didn't have sex with the girls. I'm back, catching up at two times speed. Oh, that's great, Becky. That's real great. I hope you caught up already. We should end it right now, just because she's back. Well, let's wait enough time for her to catch up. Uh, They didn't have location, like, you. Well, I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe it did show where you were. But they had chat rooms. 
like per town. You know what I mean? Like there'd be like the Lodi, New Jersey chat room, Lodi, New Jersey age this to this age, like different age groups and everything, you know, like there'd be like, uh, or ladies for ladies in Lodi, you know, just a ton of different chat role playing dragon lovers. And I don't mean sexual. I mean like actual Dungeons and Dragons nerds. Like it was pretty damn cool back then. The way you could connect with people. Do I get the pussy? Oh, I rolled a two. God damn it. No, no. They did have the sexual D and D type rooms, of course. But if you ever were to be one, I've seen it happen many times in the Red Dragon Inn, which was a very popular AOL chat room for Dungeons and Dragons role playing. Uh, I've seen many a people come in and they start to turn it sexual, and then immediately somebody there will be like, "Hey, you." in character like the bartender maybe or some security or just another character go to this server for your pervert stuff you pervert and then that was that they'd be booted no sex in the red dragon in you creep (laughs) a bunch of nerds sickos and perverts ruined everything let's look at a few more of these jerk offs huh the ones who go after the women and children, they want you to be civil <laughs> with them. I see. <laughs> Can you take down the logo? I don't want to be associated with this. I don't want it there oh, either. That tell me point. Luke maybe did it. Get rid of this Austin's girl. I don't know. Maybe that's his girl. You tell him you can't come on the show, can't call in the show, and then you get a phone call. Kind of strange. Yeah. Well, it could be. It it could be his Kumar. <laughs> That sounds like paranoia uh, and could be it's Kumar. Does that mean Luke is Harold? Is Harold the Chinese one? Well, obviously, Kumar's an Indian name. So I am. Is it Kumar? It is not Gumar. Harold and Gumar go to White Gassle. No, I mean, like the like, like the Italian like thing. Gumar, oh, right? is that what he's saying? Let's listen back. I think that's what he's trying. I don't think it's, it's definitely not Kuma. Sure. Like who? Yeah, well, it could be. It it could be his Kumar. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like he's saying Kumar, but oh no, that's that's, that's, that's what he's saying. But I think what he's trying. I think you're right. We don't know. What's like Big Goomba or something? That is like, correct. Yeah. It means whore, right? Like I'm his Honey, I little bitch. Sure yeah, he's right. These grown men asking about slut. other men about their stuff. Yeah, that that's just weird. Yeah, we don't it have any weird man to man hog conversations here. That's a different yeah, show. No, it's, it's, it's when he's going to his kuma. But hey, to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> he's going over to his kuma's house for a big dish of curry show or something. I don't know. He's going to get one of those white castle sliders if you're not that thing. August Erectus Anonymous. He's going to get stuffed full of samosas. Sounding well. Let's leave that one alone. Samosas. Not Samoans. Mrs. C's feeling a little bit under the weather. Well, I hope you get, hope you feel good. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. This is Maybe fucking riveting. Up. Maybe get a little magnesium. <laughs> Last bit is jokes more than Dave Chappelle, Ooh, who actually makes good magnesium. jokes. You got to watch this. You know, this. You're way ahead of me on these comments. This kind of thing happens a lot with Kai. Ha ha. Ha, that was not me. Where he he says that a word happen. very wrong. Matter of odds. But I understand what you're saying. Rather unusual, uncanny this time. Makes you okay. want to commit suicide? Is that what you're saying? I was going to say, it is painless, but I'm oh, really considering it right now. Well, <laughs> well this rant. part of it, listening to the show, is not painless. <laughs> that it's never happens. What are you talking about? That never pain. happens. <laughs> Yes, this is the most painful oh, suicide thing I gotta tell out you. there. I mean, you could um, chainsaw your, your own anus and it'd be more pleasurable. Things are not going to be boring. <laughs> you could fuck yourself <laughs> ungently with a you chainsaw. Heather's joke, explode. boom. Yeah. Well, Last man standing joke, it's, it's, boom. It's, it's, it's Deep cuts. Fascinating. 
Like, hey, we have we have him to thank too because he, he's come on the show. He graces us with his presence once in a while, and frankly, everybody loves to see him. <laughs> Ooh, misanthropy. What was funny about that? <laughs> well, good morning. The- I'm glad that uh, you're feeling rather chipper this a.m. <laughs> chipper. <laughs> AKA Murray. Let's. I woke up this morning. <laughs> on a constant basis and clear it's, the room easily. It's I seriously so. the idea. Is that of, really? I That's said true? something on the radio. Does he I like said something beans? over the air. Look at me, Ma. <laughs> you heard me, Mama. <laughs> hey, Ma. You heard me on the radio. <laughs> I'm on the waves. <laughs> Go and get the little children's round. No. <laughs> round them up and you know? listen to me on the radio. Who knows? Well, we'll have to ask him when he comes on. I'm looking at a picture I mean, on the screen. I don't want to it ain't me, me, but it's a picture that, that represents me. <laughs> His uh, noxious ability. So it's, a, it's a car in outer space. So we have played that with I am Cars don't street. belong in outer space. I am the destroyer of all Acting real. Oh, man. Yeah. Welcome, Clay Dabbler. By the way, I... You're not following me. I wanted to DM you to find out who actually. Yeah, please answer this. Who created that animation with your masterpieces? Because that was absolutely freaking brilliant, and I loved it, and everybody else loved it too. In fact, though, we should we should. Oh, why don't you suck his cock up some more, uh, huh? Master mm-hmm. Lou. Wow. So good. Ugh. You can do it. It was amazing. Yeah, definitely uh, run a clip of that. I, hope they can find I don't it. have access to that clip. Did, did Oh, you didn't see it yet? What are we doing yeah. with our lives? I don't have Twitter on this. <laughs> what? what are you doing with my <laughs> life? You're doing this with me. <laughs> Happy is birthday, Damien. Yeah, you I know why? He's not today in good space. In the, this oh, you know, birthday. <laughs> Actually, he might be able to send us a link. Damien. We did this on Night Creeps, too. Yeah. And I actually, I think this is what made me feel down for a few days. Listening to this show <sighs> yo, <laughs> threw me into a manic depression. Yo, you're, you're not making a joke here because, and I know he's not, because that's why I stopped watching or listening, whatever, because at first it was fun. It was like listening to these worms turn and squirm and in the most, again, it was like, Michael Scott and Holly from The Office had a podcast about hating on me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. So I was tuning That's in. That's an animation. Oh, yes. I was tuning in at first, and was it was just becoming so boring. And and then I noticed I'm just like, it was taking all the energy out of me. And, yes. and then I think your theory, Luke, about yeah. Kyle Boccaccio being an energy vampire, Colin Robinson, I think you might be right. Yeah, because no, no, uh, he, he is definitely right. Well, he also <laughs> talked about developing weapons and being an engineer. How do we know they're That's physical really weapons? Is. It was one of his death threats, uh, by the way. That was one of his veiled death threats. But yeah. then again, maybe it wasn't a death threat, and he was alluding to one of his sonic um, impulse devices. Sonic energy suckers. He's figured well, out a certain <laughs> accent, a certain tone of voice, a certain um, inane way of speaking that just literally destroys you. It breaks you down just from how stupid it is. Well... And, uh, Thankfully for the universe, they have us, the Van Helsings of energy vampires, uh, just bursting balls of gooey energy goodness uh, coming out over here, just spurting out everywhere. We gobble That's... up that mediocrity and we 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 shit it out as just slightly less mediocre mediocrity. Slightly less. I mean, just a little bit. We had a little bit of flair. Slight. Leave Damien's penis out of this. <laughs> Put a little really bit of parsley like on that. it. I got girth, son. <laughs> 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 but you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna feel like you gave birth to a baby when he's done, 
Right. <laughs> Fucking yeah. right. <laughs> oh, no. During oh, God, that stupid it? whore, Chrissy Mayer's stupid goddamn appearance, my paintings had fallen that I had made, and this one fell into this one. And. Oh, no. It oh, broke ripped it. it. Oh, no. See? Sad. The unicorn the ghost unicorn came and got you. got you. I'm sad now. Unicrissy. Oh, no. Oh, I hear something. Hold on, I'm gonna have to pause. Like, oh, we'll never tell he, anyone to stop committing so hard to a bit, but it's gonna ruin your artwork. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe pull it back a little. You're this yeah, sad boy. Uh, you can put some masking tape on the back and kind of fill it. Well, now it's more arty, if anything. There you go. Rip some no, not with it. that. I'm just saying if it broke or something and what my little. Oh, thing. oh, when someone buys it, they, it'll be a little side story about it. What the rip is from his very popular podcasting career. Yeah, yeah. When somebody buys it for ten hundred million dollars, because that's how that's much right. it costs. It's the best art you'll ever see. So I'm taking offers no less than ten hundred million dollars. And how much are you giving to the Ukraine? Zero. Okay, good. I give nothing to nobody. They're already getting it in my tax dollars, so suck a dick. Fucking you cock dancing weirdo, Vladimir, what's your name? I don't even know his name. What's his name? Igor Polanovic? What's that fucking jerk off dick wagger's name? It it's something with too many letters in it. How? I'm sure I don't want to get you banned here. Who cares what his name is? It's better if we don't even say it anyway because they're literal Nazis. And how? How? Fucking how? Do they keep saying it's a conspiracy theory to call them Nazis when they have swastikas, SS, all this other stuff? They're Sieg Heiling. They're they're, they're Sieg Heiling. Okay, but 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 it's all a different reason. No, but that's for this reason, and that's for this reason, and that's for this reason. And you're all a bunch of coked up weirdos like Gino Bisconte with your conspiracy theories. I don't get it. So fuck you, Ukraine, you jerks with your weirdo president who waggles his wiener on the television and plays piano with his penis. Tiny little penis. He shows his tiny little penis. That's that's like what made him a funny man. Oh, look at this funny guy's little penis. Oh, he's the Jim Carrey of our country. And he plays the minor keys. I got what you did there. <laughs> piano. Like, oh, it, it, was a, it was a it was a pianist joke. <laughs> Fucking. Let's just look at Luke. So he literally Luke. plays the piano with his penis? That's oh. negative negative girl. Oh. If you can actually hit just oh. one key at a time, that's the black keys maybe. I, I think he was just slamming his, his stuff on the keyboard from what I recall. It's just, it's, it's his. No, yeah, I don't. That was not comedy. He was just. He, he, well, I, it's physical comedy, so he's he just throws himself around and thinks it's comedy to the masters, to the ghouls, to the goblins, to the secret controllers of everything, the alien overlords. Even they might as well be. Listen, call them alien overlords because that's what they are. They're not the same as us. They're not the same. They're not man. They're far beyond man. What they may have started as they may be terrestrial like us from this planet, but those motherfuckers are that's where the distinction that's what there's they're as close to us as a fish. They're aliens, our overlords, period. However, you, or if they're from space, however you want to see it, they're aliens. 
So these alien cocksuckers, they find it funny to put up Trump, to put up Biden, to put up fucking um, what's his dick? Well, literally, what's his dick? Vladimir Smirnoff, whatever, Yakov. They're like, how far can we take it? You know, I mean, they even did it. They did that Boris Johnson and Trump at the same time. No, no game here. <laughs> well, so so what you're saying and even with Ukraine, like, hey, so we'll make a we'll make the liberals combine with Ukraine, right, and give them all this money, even though they have the Nazi symbol. But they call everyone else Hitler and Nazis. So that's just a so our overlords are basically giant trolls. It's the overlords, literally, literally, <laughs> the people. It's it's just like a game of sims or sim city or something played by that jerk off in school who Shit. would kick a puppy and a kitten probably put a kitten in a bag it's that psychopath who is uh playing the game wow. our alien overlords are little jerk off cunts they're not they're not these evil monsters they're just little jerk off cunts they're these the little things that you hey, just want to punch in the face. What's that? Chaos agents. What's that, Blinky? <laughs> oh, okay. I get it now. There he is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> More like, split like kind of, code. Like the thing kind of where they uh, gave this whole fucking living eulogy to a, a a guy who was an actual Nazi. And they're just kind of like, whoops. Which I wouldn't even, like, pretty much, unless I, I glanced at... I don't think at, they whoopsed it. I thought they, like, put him on a fucking... I don't mean, afterwards, they were kind of like, whoops, sorry. But that's something I probably wouldn't have really heard about just because of how quickly it disappeared if it wasn't for things like Tell Him Steve Dave, who actually talked about it. Because that was a news cycle for maybe a day, and then was just like, yeah, we're, we're just gonna forget about that. Yeah, we we praised an actual Nazi. What of it? You guys are the Nazis. Who cares? Yeah, stupid. Yeah, you like guys it, are dumb. We're not dumb. You're was, dumb. It was literally from like 2016 on. Nazi, 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 Nazi. All the way up until fucking Joe Biden and then Ukraine. And then it's like, you support these guys who are literal Nazis doing fucking swastikas. Like, they're calling people who were the absolute opposite of Nazis, Nazis. Everybody they could was a fucking Nazi. And now they're like, support these quite literal Nazis. It, it, it's, it's a cartoon. It's a troll. And good luck V, you fucking queen B. Good luck. And I'll even put this comment up. Usually I wouldn't because it does imply violence or incite something. But this is some random lunatic on the internet saying something that's not even true. Time to get rid of these overlords. Not possible, oh, you oh my fucking God. stink bat. Not just... fucking possible, you fucking idiot. Everybody knows the fucking dice are loaded. Everybody knows something. I forgot the words, but it's all fixed. It's, it, it's a game, you stupid prick. There's no getting rid of them. There's only getting rid of you. I just found so Damien's, Damien's acting, acting real. real. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow. Great depiction. I... I, I didn't even realize it was you. <laughs> I did, sadly. I did. He was just practicing for the role. I mean, sometimes you get stuck in that. You know, you do a certain thing for a certain role. Like, I, I, I used to cover my eye. When I was in Peter Pan, I played a pirate, so I, I would put a patch on my eye. Was that I the just, bisexual I porn you were in? Like it. it yep. was a Peter Pan parody? Yep. Peter, Peter Pan, Pan 1X tragedy parody? Oh, tragedy, whoa. Well, I guess if you were in it, it was a tragedy, let me tell you. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Cock-eyed Peter Pan guy. That was me. <laughs> Cock-eyed. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, Mr. Hook, he would... He was trying to do the uh, what was it? The donkey punch in the back of the head, but he hooked around and got my got me in the eye. It just you know, 
one of those because it <laughs> hook was the uh the pedophile right is that what we're trying to say right <laughs> he he was that that was the whole point of that whole thing right he catches the boys and turns them into butt pirates yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and they never grow old wait that was the peter pan thing maybe they were in goats <laughs> it's a whole like <laughs> Epstein's Island all over again. Oh my God, Pan just when he's done with them, he hands them over to Hook. We'll pretend like we're see they're like the great overlords that we're talking. About. We'll pretend like we're fighting, but really we're just passing around boys. That's, that's talk the about whole. talk about Pan Spermia, huh? Exactly, Pan sexual. Yep, they don't care. Oh, cut it out. <laughs> as long as it has Adrenochrome in it, that's all they care about. God damn it. Now you're going to make me want to play that song on the way out. I already have our outer song going cute because we're hitting the three hour mark and I probably got to do something with my life because I do have work tomorrow. So not that this is not something this is lovely, but I got fucking bills to pay, uh, unfortunately. Uh, And then and then a day to enjoy with maybe more shows. Who knows? Uh, Who knows what could happen today? We don't. Um, And I got to urinate again. So. what else you got? What do you guys want to have as a last topic here? Let's get out of here very, very soon. Let's see. Well, I think evil. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that bit. Uh, it's a nice bit, oh. but we're going to save it. Uh, oh, so no, I'm sorry. I was still in your bit. No, I really, I know, I know. It's why it's nice. It's nice because it's my bit. But I'm saying, uh, how about this? Why don't we sum up? What what do you think the lesson learned? Let's do that moment, a tender moment for the peoples. Uh, yeah, Dabble Story and so great. They're really great. Can't wait to do whatever they. Uh, uh, so Dabble Story and I got to have my support animal uh, Luke join me on this interview. Uh, that's my only condition here. Um, I'll do it for free. I usually I charge a-, a big big price, but y- you you seem all right. That might be a piss goblin. Bitch. That might, might be, be someone be. pretending it, it might be. like you because no one ever does and they never ever I will. And if right. they are, they're pieces of crap that should never ever even be allowed on this plane of existence ever again. Cur- hold on. Wait, kind of say that like again. That. Say that again. Uh, piss goblins suck, suck and they should just be thrown to the wolves. All right. That- You're good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, Dabble Storian is on the Stuttering John show currently, I assume. So Right now? Uh, t- right now, I guess. So tune into that, ladies and gentlemen. And follow us on X at the DJR Network. Uh, Luke of the fucking illiterate Jim <laughs> at Steve. His thing, I, I did search... DJR Network at DJR Network. It still comes up with the same thing. So, <laughs> well, that's good. He, he, he sucks. Maybe but not you as should much. just change the take the the out of it. Maybe you should just yeah, change. Yeah, no, what? Like, why would I bother now? <laughs> good point. <laughs> Put some work in. Fuck that shit. Well, on that note, you know what I always say, folks. Get your ass in that cop, play boss. <laughs> Pinky's up, nigga. Good day. Pinky's up. Acting. They say you gotta change with the times But I don't like the new school, so I'm staying behind You could pop another Zanny, pass away and just die On the side of a busy highway in Dubai Kiss my ass, I'm smoking big chop gas Bitch, I spaz, y'all need to get off black Cause you niggas love talking, fuck this podcast Hip-hop trash, I'ma bring Slipknot back I fucked your bitty, she got one titty like the oblongs When the last time somebody said play y'all song Meanwhile, I'm finna ball out like Lance Armstrong This is not music, this a guy damn car bomb what's the name of the label that you working with i never heard of it call it february 30th if your album was so fucking pathetic i'm returning it and burning down the store just for selling it supporting it so eat a cock meat sandwich and some oranges before i crush a nigga and turn him to an accordion i'm not an alcoholic but i'm finna chug a 40 and i just so happened to be drunk while i was recording my team we some sippers we can't drink enough liquor no mc could fuck with us, keep my pinky up, nigga. My pinky up, 
nigga. Keep my pinky up, nigga. Keep my pinky up, nigga. Keep my pinky up, nigga, nigga. Ever, ever since I was a kid, I had a foul mouth. But then I got a little big, I'm finna wild out. Wait till they get a load of me, beat my style out. How about you, nigga, stop rapping and you bow down? Niggas know what time it is with me. If you go against me, then you history. I'm so sick, fuck six, give me ten feet. I used to rip shit from Richmond to Twin Peaks. Back when Nick Cats had a Volvo with six speeds. Yelling bedroom beats, rest in peace, Big B. I was 16, turning MCs to mince me. Whether you believe it or not, that shit is Ripley's. I could give a fuck if you call me one dimensional. I'm Biggie Small's interlude. I just wanna shit on you. Y'all niggas have no flavor, but you niggas fool. Y'all niggas so plain, no John with a spoon. All I do is kick ass an entire song. My firearm look like it came from Cybertron. Your fucking brain must be smaller than a spider's balls. If you go against a nigga like me, right or wrong. After I say these obnoxious things, niggas will never wanna see me cook again like Paula Dean. They hit me on the web with a lot of memes till I call them in person and hit them with the bottom bang. Don't move. I'll blow your goddamn head smooth off. Now back up. Slowly. Nintendo gun YouTube Nintendo <laughs> toy. <laughs> Little motherfucker gonna try to rob me. Well, I'm gonna show you how we do it up here. Gmo's nigga. Gmo, quit playing. Shut up. Before I bust a cap up in your ass. Now what you done did to Noby and Jay? Nigga, I ain't do Shut up, nigga! Now who sent you, nigga? Nigga, did nobody- Oh! Didn't I say- Say another motherfucking word, and this shit is over! Now- Was this filmed right outside of Joey Steve's house? You ain't got no gun on you. Yes. Where the motherfucking weed at? It was actually filled outside of uh, Patrick Melton's trailer park. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Say something else, nigga! Oh, this nigga think I'm playing. Say something else, nigga! It's like Eddie Griffin doing I'll Pulp Fiction. Yeah, that's pretty close. Damn! Damn! We can't drink enough liquor. No MC could fuck with us. Keep my pinky and it's almost, up. I think he's about to get raped like in Pulp Fiction. Up, nigga. <laughs> Keep my pinky up, nigga. Where's that butch when you need him? Keep my pinky up, nigga, nigga. Ever, ever since I was a kid, I had a foul mouth. But then I got a little big, I'm finna wild out. Wait till they get a load of me, keep my style out. How about you niggas stop rapping and you back?